Hello everybody, welcome to the United Stands. I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is the big one. It's the one that matters. It's Manchester United against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinal at Old Trafford. How are you feeling about this one? Um, look, it's uh, it's here. It's time. And uh, there is no Casemiro, as we spoke about this morning. But we go with what we've got. And uh, I'm massively concerned about that midfield. But I put an offer. No excuses. Uh, huge game for United. And it's at Old Trafford. And we've got to try and find a way to salvage something from this season against a Liverpool team that, let's be honest, is firmly in the groove. Um this is the Manchester United lineup, as you can see on the screen there. Make sure you smash a like as well. So, yeah, no Casemiro, but I've got to say, um, you're never going to please everybody. I've sort of learned that um, over the last uh, few months, and uh, I'm actually quite happy with that back four. We spoke about this in the preview, actually, and I said, if we want to push up high, then Lindelof is the guy to play next to Varane. Um you play Johnny Evans, you play Harry Maguire, you automatically got to go deep. Um, so I think with Varane and Lindelof, it's the more mobile centre-back pairing. Plus, you've got two people that can play full-back. So we might see a very different back four with United to what we've seen in the last few weeks. There is the opportunity, hopefully, fingers crossed, for us to move higher up the pitch and compact between the defence and the attack, which is something we don't normally do. Up front, Rasmus. Rasmus, Rasmus, Rasmus is back, Ganacho and Rashford, that's our best front three, Bruno in behind, Mason Mount's on the bench, but it's the midfield that I'm, I'm concerned about, That that's where I worry, we're up against Endo, McAllister and Sabozlai who can mix it up against the likes of Rodri, De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva, so that's what we're up against here. Um, and I worry about that midfield. I do not like Scott McTominay in the midfield. You know that. I worry about Maynou getting overrun. It's happened so many times this season. Um, honestly, you could have just put Amrabat in there. But what I'm hoping, and Seven says Amrabat should have started. What I'm hoping is that on pure vibes and fumes and passion, they will just deliver because I do worry about that midfield. Bruno's not had a good game this calendar year. McTominay doesn't have a good game unless he scores. And Kobe Maynou's 18. So I worry about that midfield. But on the other hand, to spin it another way, is that not just evidencing the problems that we have in the midfield area because we don't have enough... Um, options in the midfield I suppose but uh, look very very interesting hi Mark uh, have a good feeling for this one I hope to see Mount do 30 minutes I hope the crowd will be hostile towards their goalkeeper says um, Georgie thank you very much let me just get uh, that going we've had a few comments coming in already Gerald is a new member get your badge in Gerald Caulfield welcome to the members club uh, happy pa uh, happy Paddy's day from Cork Mark hopefully it'll be sir, a happy one after the game I've got a good feeling says Joe Mate, if you're in a pub somewhere celebrating Paddy's Day, um, I've been there. I did four years in a row in Dublin. It was fantastic. Um, Got to say, in those four years, if I'd have had a Liverpool Man United game on a St. Patrick's Day afternoon, I'd have been bloody fuming. Um, you don't want it. Trust me, you don't want it. On St. Patrick's Day, you don't want to be watching a game like this. You just want to be enjoying the day. Um, but look, it's happening. Um, and let's hope United can get the win. Uh, although there's a lot of Liverpool fans in Ireland as well. Mark, if you were right now outside... Sorry, Franco says, um, if you were right now inside that dressing room, what would you say to these players to pump them up? Franco, to be honest, I'd be very frank with them. I'd walk in and I'd say... Um, I'd just walk in and I'd say, you know what, this is... I don't need to do a team talk for this. You've got 75,000 people in Old Trafford for a cup game where we can salvage something from the season against our biggest rival, where everybody's writing us off. If you, as an individual, don't put in at least a good performance today, I don't know why you're playing for this football club. You shouldn't need any more motivation from me. We've done it on the training ground this week. We know what we need to do. But you, as an individual, are on trial out there in front of our fans because, you know, maybe against Fulham, it'll get swept under the carpet. But it won't get swept under the carpet here because it matters. Got to, you've got to go out there and give a performance for yourself. I, I just do not think that there is... Uh, look, I'll be honest with you. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I'm sure you're the same. 
we are a little bit lenient at times. Not today. Not today. You know, and it could be any player. It could be any player out there. Some players haven't played well particularly for a long time. But in a game like this, you know, there's no excuse. I mean, Rasmus is on the telly at the moment. There's no way. It's just in him. There's no way he's not going to give absolutely everything and be impacted. Um, my mate, who's a whale, uh, 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 Neil, who's a Liverpool fan, has just messaged me on WhatsApp to say, "Good to see McTominay starting with a laughing emoji." Um, and and that, that that does concern me a little bit because I just don't think he's anywhere near good enough. However, maybe Scott McTominay scores the goal. Um, come on, United! Love you, Mark. Says Jonathan. Thank you very much. Do you think there's no talk on strikers and midfielders because maybe Ineos have already settled on who they want and they're not really scouting? Hence, no news. Says Sujoy. Well, we had some news on Jonathan David this morning, didn't we? Uh, can you show us the Liverpool side? Yes, I can. I just wanted to uh, show you the Man United side. But that's the Liverpool side. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's a strong front three. Salah um, and... But I'm happy that Delo's up against Salah. You know, I did not want to see Lindelof up against him. Um, Wan-Bissaka is a good defensive right back. Um, and he might have a point to prove to put himself in the shot window. So, look, I'm hoping Wan-Bissaka can stay fit between now and the end of the season. Because we don't have a left back. Uh, Nunez is a handful. But Varane has played well recently. Uh, defensively, look, what have they got? Robertson, Gomez, Kwanzaa, Van Dijk. That's going to be an interesting battle against our front three. Um, but it's the midfield battle I think we've lost. Um, and we have to try and win. I think defensively, back four against their front three will be interesting. I think their back four against our front three will be interesting. But games are won and lost in the midfield. And I think we can all look at it and go, this is where we, we struggle. And I, I find it amazing that people say, Wow, we won't miss Casemiro. I hope we don't, but I think we will. This will be a very tight match. The midfield is weak, but I'm still going for a win. 2-1 to United, says Mohamed. And United to win. Come on, lads. Feeling good with Hoyland starting, says D1. Uh, clueless lineup. Scott as a holding is a nightmare, says International 2675. Well, what, we, what we've got to do today, and we haven't done this a lot. Um, Rolando says, based on this midfield, would you sit back? I think this is a great question. I'd love to know how, how some of you would start this game. But I think for me, looking at that game today, I would play compact. Um, we know that, especially with Rasmus, we will press from the front. And we know with Johnny Evans and Varane, we will play deep. So press from the front, play deep. What's this space in between? Good teams kill you. They'll just play through you. So we've got to close that gap. And not allow teams to play through us. We've got to be compact. Now you can be compact in two ways. You can be compact like we were at Anfield. Sit on the edge of the box. Everybody's within five metres of each other. Or you can do it the other way. You can go compact further up the field. I actually think we need to go compact further up the field. You've got to trust Anana to play as a sweeper keeper. So with Lindelof next to Varane. I think we're a bit quicker. With two proper fullbacks. Albeit Delos playing at left back they can invert. Um, I think the best way to protect that midfield is to be compact. And the only way we can be compact is to push the defensive lineup. Um, will they get in behind us? They might get in behind us, but we're not slow. Wan-Bissaka's not slow. Delo's not slow. Varane's not slow. And Anana's a sweeper keeper. So I'd push the lineup. I think when you've got Lindelof at left back and you've got Johnny Evans at centre back, it's suicidal to play a high line. But I think we've got to go with a high line today. Uh, West Ham are 2-0 up now versus Villa. Top four is on. Is that true? I mean, that's a bloody great result for us. This is um, this is a bloody brilliant result for us. Um, I mean, it's only at half time there. I don't know whether it's 1-0 or 2-0. But remember, Aston Villa did play on Thursday night as well. But this would be a great result for us. I mean, West Ham would be quite close behind us. But in relation to what's happening above us, it would be absolutely fantastic. And it is 2-0. To West Ham. Uh, Antonio scores again. So yeah, that'd be great for us. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but look, that's something to think about in the future. Um, it is 2-0 to West Ham. Do you think Maynou should have made the England squad? Says AJ. Couldn't give a toss, honestly. Yeah, couldn't couldn't give a toss. Um, yeah, I, I think from, from Maynou's development, it's probably better that he's not playing uh, for us. Uh, for, for, from that. Oh, it's been disallowed. Disallowed West Ham's goal. Fuck. It's a shame. Um, why do you think Eric Ten Hag picks McTominay? Says, would you rather? I think he picks McTominay 
because Amrabat's not good enough and there's nobody else. That's what I think. Um, but, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, VAR nonsense says Rome. Uh, Eric Ten Hag style of play. Look at under 18s and under 21. Senior side needs to start playing like them, says Morgan. Uh, choose between the FA Cup and the Champions League qualification, says Man United, 8-8-8-8. Well, well look, I, I'll run a poll on this because it's always a very interesting one that seems to generate um, outrage on either side. Would you rather win the FA Cup or UCL qualification? And I'm going to be absolutely honest. I'd rather get I'd rather get Champions League qualification. It's more money. It's the first year of that tournament. I think it's really important to be in there for the future of the football club. I don't think the FA Cup moves the needle. It's a trophy. Van Gaal won the trophy and got sacked. Like, it's nice to win a trophy. Of course it is. But we won a trophy last year and look at where we are. I think we need to be in the Champions League. And I think we need the money from the Champions League. And I think we need the, you know, the progression that the Champions League provides. So I would pick Champions League over the FA Cup if I had to. People saying both, that's not the option. I was asked about which I would choose. Um, Hi, Mark. I'm pumped up in more ways than one, says Dan. Okay. I'm struggling to sit at the moment, but come on, United. Uh, great to see you buzzing and all the shit gone from last Sunday. If we win, I'm getting some tonight, says Dan. Lovely stuff. Uh, Zabo says, if we can cut out silly possession losses and make some smart chances, we can take this. Considering the number of shots we concede compared to goals, our defence really isn't the issue. Let's go Man United, says Zabo. Um, and also, fingers crossed, let's hope for a United win. Mark, let's go Man United, says Shawin. And Casper says, I think it might be Delo at the right back. Um, I don't really care. I, I, I don't really care, if I'm being honest with you. Um, just, just something else. Uh, Samuel Lookhurst has said that uh, uh, Casemiro has suffered a recurrence of a hamstring injury. Dressing room sources... Oh, for fuck. This guy. This guy. Dressing room sources have... I mean, is he not... You know what? Last Sunday, we got death threats. Nobody should be getting that. It's a disgrace. But you know when people have a pop at fan content against this constant dressing room it may every time i read dressing room sources it makes me want to throw up especially having been a victim to the bullshit of dressing room sources every other day it's dressing room sources with this guy dressing room sources have suggested the intense demands of man united's training sessions have contributed to casemiro's latest setback what a crock of shit i i'm i'm fed up of the agenda you know as i said last week we were unfairly subjected to appalling behavior um and we don't do this this is just bloody stupid dressing room sources say that casemiro's injury is because he's been training too hard two plus two is four we're training hard because we're not playing in the midweek anymore we've only got one game a week we're not playing in europe anymore so it's an opportunity to train the players and the reason we're training the players is because they don't run around enough. So we need them fitter, stronger. And if they can't do it, that's the door in the summer. I ain't got no problem with us working our players hard because now is the time to find out. I think Casemiro's probably just sold himself, to be honest. Three months out before Christmas, out again. I think, I think, I think he's got to go because if he can't... Look, Casemiro's 31. If he can't deal with the demands of the Premier League, he's got to go. What would you rather do? Work these players hard and find out who can do it or give them loads of time off and never progress? It's just illogical how every angle is to try and find a negative. Ineos have been here for three months. So David Brailsford was massively involved in fitness levels of numerous things involving cycling. They will actively be part of this saying we need to push these players to see who can deal with it. And if we find out along the way that certain players can't deal with it, bye-bye. I think Casemiro's gone. I think he's gone. I think the fact that he can't deal with this um, is a big problem. Uh, Lucas is still crying. Ten Hag banned him. Well, look, at the end of the day, everyone's entitled to an opinion. He, he, he clearly wants Ten Hag out. But I think what I find frustrating, and everybody else finds frustrating, is his dressing room sources. I mean, you've got to be a complete and utter prat to be leaking to him. Who in the dressing room is leaking to him? 
I mean, because if I was Ten Hag, I'd find out. I'd want to know who in the dressing room is leaking to him because that person needs to sell. I mean, why? There's so many other people you could leak to. Why would you do that? It's baffling. Um, anyway, look, um, not going to do it, but really, uh, yeah, don't, no, no, no. There shouldn't be a pile on of abuse. It's not acceptable. Absolutely not. That shouldn't be happening. But what I'm saying is it's always dressing room sources, dressing room sources. It's been like it for two months, two years. Um, hi, Mark. It annoys me that McTominay takes up Rasmus space and runs into his channels. What's your opinion on this? Wait, Mads, if, if, if Scott McTominay wanders forward into centre forward today, we're fucked. He's got to play disciplined. Like, if I'm Ten Hag, you, I'm saying to McTominay, do not leave the side of, of, of McTominay, of, of, of Maynou. When you look at Casemiro and Maynou, they play close together. Bruno's on the pitch, Scott. You cannot wander forward and leave Maynou on his own. You have got to stay next to him. Might not be what you naturally want to do, but you have got to stick with him. You wander away... And you may as well keep running out of Old Trafford and down the M6 to West Ham because you're gone. Uh, we can't afford that. Um, what, what do you mean, what about Luke Shaw? I haven't got a source called Luke Shaw. That's just a myth. Not going to do it, but really what... Uh, so I can't read that. I'm hoping for a miracle and a win today, says Cody. Keep up the good work. Shawin says, fingers crossed. Let's hope for a United win, Mark. Let's go Man United. I think Delo goes right, says Casper. I think we've spoken about that. And Lee says, I think it's mental that McTominay is playing above Amrabat. We're getting swamped in the midfield. Yes, I agree. It's it's a surprise because Amrabat's more defensively disciplined. But let's just see how it works out in the game. Um, you know, I think ultimately, when you're really deep it, what we have to demand here, and we have to get this in our head over anything else, doesn't matter who's on the pitch for Manchester United. We have to get this in our head. And I'll say it now, and you've got to come back to it at the end of the game. Every player on that pitch for Man United has got no excuse not to put in a 7 out of 10. And at the end of the game, those that don't better have a bloody good reason. If Rasmus doesn't put a 7 out of 10 because he gets no service, but he's running around a lot, then that's a reason not to get a 7 out of 10. You know... I'm not saying that we won't have some people. I mean, I guarantee you not everyone's going to be 7 out of 10. I hope they are. But everybody's got to have that mindset to do that. Um, there is no excuses. There really isn't. Uh, Tyson Fury at Old Trafford. Yes. Uh, why am I doing Rashford celebrations to Scooby? I think people did that way before Rashford, to be honest with you. I don't think he invented touching your head. Um, why... Um, Scott or Ericsson, energy but goes missing versus great passer and can't keep up. Not great options, is it, says Cliff. But look, I, 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 I don't really have a lot to say about Scott McTominay starting this game because this is the problem when Casemiro's injured. That midfield is absolutely terrible. It, it, it wasn't, you know, balanced right. I, I, I thought about this before, you know. We're so lucky that Kobe Mainu came through. Like, what was the plan if Maynou didn't come through? Maynou's an 18-year-old youth prospect. Like, have you ever thought of it like that? If Casemiro hadn't... Sorry, if Maynou hadn't come through, what were we doing this year? What was our midfield going to be today if Maynou hadn't come through at the speed he's come through? McTominay, Eriksson and Bruno. McTominay, Amrabat and Bruno. Like, we're so lucky that, that, that Maynou's come through. And even with Maynou coming through... One injury to Casemiro, that, that midfield is a joke, an absolute joke. And I suppose, look, I'm really glad that Mount's back, but I do question why we didn't buy a midfielder in the summer. Like, we really do need to sort out the midfield. There are people in that midfield. Yeah, there are people in that midfield. Ericsson's become redundant. He's a waste of time. McTominay we've spoken about. Um, Casemiro's injured. Amrabat doesn't look like he's a good fit either. The balance of that midfield is terrible. Hi, Mark. I trust the manager and there is no buts. The team is put out is most probably the best he has at his disposal. And I agree, Lee, Cape Town. I mean, apart, you could put Amrabat in there, but I mean, I thought he was shocking in the derby. Do you think Amrabat for McTominay would work better? Personally, I do. There's also the option that Bruno drops into midfield and that's not good, says Jim. Um, and Lee says uh, we're going to get swamped in the midfield, which I think I've read already. Um, I've gone like for like with Amrabat, says CJ. 
And if they win today, they are good by me. Let's go, lad, says Pat. Exactly, exactly. Great opportunity out there. Um, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner to do that. We're on the road to 832,000. We're only 300 away. Subscribe, get involved, bottom right-hand corner with the United Stand. Uh, we're live every night at 8 o'clock every morning at 10 o'clock. Loads to get involved in. And uh, look, I think whatever this result is, it's going to be a very, very interesting week. I think if we lose it, we're going to get all the manager talk again. I think if we win it, we're going to get all the transfer talk. So either way, you know, I hope it's going to be about transfers because I think that's something that we need to do. And I hope I'm shouting out Scooby-Doo. I really, really do. scooby dooby doo where are you? Bring in all the Irish. Look, come on, United, says Fennec. Yes, we need it. Um, I think the first 10 minutes are key. We'll see straight away how we're going to set up in this game as well. Um, why do you think Amrabat's not starting over McTominay, Mark? Well, that's the best question I've been asked. There's a lot of people saying they'd start Amrabat over McTominay. The direct question is, why do you think that should happen? Um, I think Amrabat, based on his Fiorentina... And Morocco form is a better fit for what we're missing with Casemiro out. I don't actually think Kobe Mainu is a holding midfielder. I don't think he's got the physicality or, you know, defensive experience to play it. So Amrabat, to me, is the obvious player to come in. Why he won't do it, I don't... I, 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 the only explanation I can offer you is he's shit. And, and I know that's really, really blunt, but... Ten Hag sees him in training and must see somebody. Like James says, he's never looked up to it. I mean, that must be the truth. We, we, we can all pick a team based on McTominay's not very good in the midfield. But we also have to consider that in training, maybe, maybe, maybe Amrabat's shit. Because I don't understand in a game of this magnitude, if Amrabat's good at that role, why he'd pick Scott McTominay. You know, do we need height again? I mean, there is no Casemiro. Lindelof's not particularly big. Are we looking at the height thing again? I mean, that might be an interesting thing. We we generally do pick Scott McTominay for height. And with no Casemiro, maybe we're looking at height again. It is, it is, it is really basic, but we do do it. We do it a lot. So maybe it's to do with height. I don't know. Um, I choose FA Cup purely because I feel like Champions League qualification is out of reach with the squad we have to finish the season now, says Mike. Um, well, FA Cup will be out of, out of reach if we don't win this, if we're being honest. Um, Villa are losing 1-0. It could have been 2. Uh, look, let's hope there's a Scott McTominay um, masterclass here. Um, shout out to my daughter, Vavika, on her 19th birthday. Says Stefan, happy birthday. Happy Paddy's Day from Dublin, Mark. Says Darren Maguire. Yeah, if you're enjoying the, your time today um, for Paddy's Day, great stuff. Um, uh, Mike says, Carragher was your about Casemiro. His legs have gone, says Mike. I don't think his legs have gone anywhere. His hamstring's gone. It's a little bit different to his legs have gone. Um, Glennie says, we think Samuel Luckhurst is bad, but just saw a clip of Ange Postacoglu's presser where someone said Spurs should cater to tourists and plastic fans. He handled it well. This is Glennie. Oh, I saw about that. It was bloody ridiculous, really, wasn't it? I mean, at the end of the day, every club's got worldwide fans. There'll be plenty of people watching this show today who haven't driven a couple of hours to Old Trafford in, you know, in the afternoon. There'll be plenty of people who are up at four, five, six in the morning from around the world watching this game. Um, we've always respected that on this channel, and it's true. Like, uh, who, who is anybody to call people tourists or plastic fans? I mean, we're, they're all happy to take their money, I'm sure that journalist is happy to have, you know, 15, 20 percent of his readership from around the world. But then they want to take the piss out of people that are, are tourists. What is a tourist? Somebody, you know, flies in from the other side of the world once, you know, once every few years to watch United play uh, just because of where they live. It's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. I've never subscribed to this. It's, it's a joke. It doesn't matter where you live. I mean, I, 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 you know, when, when we do the US tours, getting up at four o'clock in the morning, it's tough. And it's really tough when you're watching the shit that we've been doing over the last 10 years. But people do it all around the world. And I don't like the differential on the fan base. I think there's certain fans in United who treat it like this as well. If you're not, you know, if you're not from Manchester or you don't go to every single game, you're not a real fan. It's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Um, tuning in from Seattle, Washington, says Ryan. Yeah, get in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. 
Um, Mark, if Scott McTominay is chosen for height, just buy someone from the championship would be better, um, says Chris. Any tips for a sore head after too many? Jameson's last night, says CJ. Plenty of water. Mount coming on and scoring the winner, says Hugh. Um, I'd love to see Mount get on. He is on the bench, by the way. So is Maguire. I fear, I fear, I fear. My heart trembles, Mark. Motivate me, says Shashank. Um, yeah, well, look, I'm, I'm massively excited about this. And uh, let's hope that United can go out there and put a performance in. I mean, look, we've not spoken about Bruno Fernandes. We've not spoken about Marcus Rashford. Um, you know, neither of those two players have really played anywhere near their capabilities. They have to raise it as much as anybody else today. It, it, it's one of those games and uh, you, there is no excuse. We want to see Manchester United um, players putting in a performance, don't we? All of them. All of them need to put a performance in tonight. Um, let me just do that. There we go. Um... Yeah, players coming out on the pitch here. I think the first 10 minutes are absolutely vital. Absolutely vital here. How United approach this first few minutes. We are the home team. Get the crowd going and it can change the, the course of the game. I think, I think it's so important how we approach that first 10 minutes. Because if Liverpool get hold of the ball and they're on 70% possession and we're just sat back, the crowd automatically are like, oh my God, it's going to be a long afternoon. But if we get forward a couple of times in the first 10 minutes, uh, the crowd starts getting up and going, you know what, we, we might have a chance. So the first 10 minutes, absolutely huge. Um, absolutely huge. Um, do you think we're going to win, Mark? I, I am actually going to go for a Man United win. Uh, I'm going to go 1-0. I, I don't see how we could ever win this game by uh, three or four. It, it makes no sense to me at all um, how that could even be the case. But um, I, I, think, I think we can win it. Um, and I think you've got to believe. You've got to believe. Otherwise, what's the bloody point? You know, big, big chance for the players to go out there um, and, you know, turn the season round. Um, I think as well, it, it's such a massive game for United and these players that it, if you lose it, the reaction to it is, you know, completely different without standing completely obvious to what it is if you win it it sets the tone for the rest of the season um yeah i, I, I think um i've played the game i've played the game right where are we make sure you smash a like thanks everyone who's given us a follow united good to go here forum to come after make sure you subscribe m rigney says why is Maguire not starting i actually agree with that I actually agree with that. I actually agree with Maguire not starting. Um, I don't think, you know, he hasn't played for a month. Um, and Lindelof is quicker. So I think it's about tactics. And I've got no problem with a manager picking tactics in the sense that I think that, you know, we. Look, I'll be proved right or wrong in the first 10 minutes. Are we going to play a high line or are we going to play a deep line? If we're playing a deep line, he hasn't picked Maguire because of fitness. If we're playing a high line, he hasn't picked him for that as well. Um, massively excited. Come on, United. Come on, then. Let's be having ya. Or, or. Time to play the game, motherfuckers. Let's do it. Let's bloody do it. Uh, Mainu cannot leave McTominay today, says Leek. There's a couple of things. If you're interested in tactics, I used to do this a couple of years ago. I'd give you three tactical things to keep an eye on. First one, the defensive line of Man United. Are we going to try and compact the pitch or are we going to play deep again? The second one, Scott McTominay cannot go wandering forward, leaving us exposed with Mainu. He's got to be disciplined. It has to be disciplined. Um, third one, I would say... Who's going to play? At, who's going to play up against Salah? Is it Delo? Is it Wan Bissaka? And if they have a if they have a good game, we might have a good game as well. Um, Anthony says, "I hope it's not going to be seven nil, mate. I can't I can't deal with that again. I don't want another picture behind my sofa. We're ready to go. Bruno's ready to go. Are you ready to go? Let's have a look 
Fasten your seatbelts. Hopefully, these first 10 minutes, we're going to rock and roll, he says. And it's a high line from United straight away, but that's probably because we've booted the ball up. So hard to say yet. I believe we can win. We're not better than Liverpool, but we're focused and calm and putting the effort we can, says Nigel. Jonathan David is having an amazing season, says Aiden. We have been linked to him, yeah. Villa losing as well uh, at the moment, the wheelbarrow they are, yeah. And uh, Man United are going to score within the first 25 minutes, says Seek. Uh, Diaz even fear playing at Old Trafford anymore. Um, nothing should stop us winning if all the players give their all, says Jeffrey. Thank you very much. Well, United have started off with the ball here. Nice little flick by Bruno. Interesting long ball there that Ganacho is going to chase, but Van Dijk is there. Um, see, McTominay for me is wandering miles away from Kobe Maynou already. Good play by Maynou. Does well, gets it wide to Rashford. wan is playing at left back, which is interesting. Rashford. Bruno. Maynou. Back into me. Back into Maynou. Shoot! Oh no! Wambasaka! If he'd left that, McTominay was there where he where he becomes gold. This was why did Wambasaka do it? If he leaves it, look. Oh no. No, it was just there for McTominay. And he took it off him. Exactly where McTominay's good. Good start by United, though, but we, that, that, that could have been a great chance. wan on the stretch, trying to hit it. And, um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know. Um, hi, Mark. I'm a native Texan and been a lifelong Bundesliga guy, but I found your content. I've been a huge Man United support. Thanks, says Fitma. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate your super chat. You can do that through the dollar sign if you want. Um, thanks, everybody's getting involved. Uh, United have had a decent start here, first two minutes. Aaron wan should have left it, says Ian. Yep. Um, still 1-0 to West Ham. 20 minutes to go. Be a big result for Spurs and Man United if that stayed the same. Please do subscribe, by the way, if you're on YouTube. Bottom right-hand corner to do it. We're only 200 away from 832,000. Subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. McTominay's gone in on Diaz a little bit there. Um... Nothing in that. Play on. Frame that. 80% possession. We're better than Liverpool. But Liverpool now having a bit of possession, which we know is going to come. Thanks for all the follows as well. Appreciate that. Good pressing, says Kevin. Well, it's a high line by United. Here's Bruno into Ganacho. Squares it back across. Hit it first time. Rashford, good save by Kelleher. This is a great start by United. This is exactly what we predicted. Well, we hoped. Great start, this. Players are up for it. Get the crowd up. Perfect. So, well, without a goal, but it's a good start by United. We've had two half chances in the first five minutes and we're playing high up the pitch. So that's good to see. But this is where you've got to be... Def I mean, where's the midfield here? The gap between defence and attack. But uh, wan up against Salah. Keep your eyes on that one. Thanks for the follow, Vic. Uh, appreciate it. And Tony Bray as well. Joe Oakham, thanks for your super chat. Please do it, United, says SL. If we don't concede and keep a clean sheet, we can win, says Raz. It's like a, it's almost like we're playing a 4-1-4-1. McTominay and Bruno in a line with Ganacho and Rashford. But this is a good ball out to Salah. And Maynou's lost to Bosley. And it's a first shot from them. 
it's just, it's just the midfield. Just the midfield, isn't it? That's always going to be our problem. I mean, Kobe Mainu there, he just walks away from him, really, and gets a shot off because Mainu's not a holding midfielder. But it's what all we got. It's not a great ball, that, by Anana. I'd rather we played to feet, really. Keep the ball. Thanks for the follow, Ruben. So, a good five minutes from United. Certainly better than we normally start off. Lovely ball. And, uh, oh no, it wasn't quite. Rasmus on the turn, trying to get Ganacho in. Just put it a little bit too close to the box. Kelleher could come and get it. Nickel says, Mainu is a holding midfielder. I don't think he is. I think he's a number eight. I think he can do it. But... I think he's number eight. And it's hard. It's very hard to be saying that Maynou's a holding midfielder at 18 years of age. Um, let me get rid of this poll, by the way. But it's admirable the way he steps in and does the job. I'd still like to see that defensive line pushing up a little bit. Another five metres. I still think it's a little bit deep in these situations. Look, there's still a lot of space in our midfield. I'd like to see that defensive line just push up a little bit higher here. I still think we're a little bit deep. And they're in again, Liverpool. Well done, Varane. McTominay, take a touch. Well done, Ganacho. And there's an offside anyway. Uh, opinion on the, opinions on the Chelsea game, says Charlie. I think Leicester did well to get back 2-2. Um, two, two, two. But yeah, Chelsea. What? When's the draw? When is the FA Cup draw? When, when are Man City getting Coventry? Because we all know that's happening. After this game, says Bogey. Good play by Rashford. Ball goes out. Well, I think the winners of this game will get Chelsea and then Man City will get Coventry. Uh, Pasta, welcome to the Members Club. Get your badge in. Thanks, Harv, for the follow. And Dinand as well. Well, United will take confidence from this first few minutes. Only as only as far as it stays nil-nil, though. You, you, you're going to lose your confidence if you go 1-0 down. But uh, it's been a better start from United. Let's celebrate the four years with a massive win today, says Connor. Who's been a member for four months? Legend. I love football and Jack Scotty. Thanks for the follow. Look again, though. Look at the gap between the defence and the midfield is too big here. It's too much space. Oh my God! What a technique by Salah that was. Well, there's Liverpool's first chance. That would have been a goal if it's on target. Look at this ball to the back post again. How many years have we seen Man United fullbacks stuck under crosses? Lovely technique by Salah. And Anana looked like he had it covered, but I'll tell you what, it was very close to the post. I don't think he did have that covered at all. Um, yeah, that, that's been going on for years, though, hasn't it? Getting caught under a cross. The Suns in the Liverpool goalkeeper's vision. We need to take advantage before Anana inevitably fumbles in the second half. Says Fairway Five. You're very optimistic that it's going to stay sunny in Manchester for an hour, mate. I think we'll I think we'll be all right come the second half. Attacking the Stretford End second half as well. Oh God, where's the mark in here? Bloody hell! There we go again. The mark in there was bloody awful. Score prediction says Daniel 55. I've gone United 1-0. Here's Rashford over on the left-hand side. All on his own. Needs to lay it off. Needs to pass. Now it's Ganacho. This needs to be a goal. Good save. Get in! 1-0! McTominay! Scooby-Doo! Where are you? United lead 1-0 in 10 minutes. And suddenly, United... 
look like they're a team that could get a result here today. It's very early days, but United lead 1-0. It's an absolutely brilliant ball. I think it's Rashford into Ganacho. Ganacho gets the shot off. Kelleher can't keep it out. And McTominay scores. Probably the easiest goal he's going to score in his whole career. But look at this. Intelli it's almost like United have been working on the training ground. Simple passes. Rashford to Bruno. Back to Rashford. Slips it in. What a ball that is. Ganacho does the right thing. And there's Scott McTominay to tap it in. What a pass by Rashford that is. 1-0 to United. And it's a great start. Lovely. Just simple passes. That was absolutely brilliant. You know, I hope Rashford gets the credit there because he never does that hardly ever. He played a lovely ball into Ganacho, which creates the chance for the shot. And McTominay's there to tap it in. And what do we say? If McTominay scores, he tends to have a good game. Right, we've got something to hold on to here. 1 0 to United. Florian's just gifted 10 uh, uh, memberships as well. Ryan says, good first few minutes from United. Can you call Lewis a Pratt? Uh, Delo says, it's been 55 months a member. Hope we can get a win today. Thank you, pal. Um, a, a, a great start from United. We've started off well as well. And uh, look at that. Four shots on target in the first 10 minutes. Four, that's, I mean, that's that's a good start by United. And here is wan again. Bruno's going to pick that up. Could have took a tumble. Keeps hold of it. Into uh, wan -Bissaka. Cut it back. Cut it back. Oh. Bruno. That's it. We just seem to be a lot more patient on the ball today as well. Playing the right passes at the right time. A lot calmer. Look at this again. Here's Mainu. Little flick. Edge of the box. Delo. Ganacho. Oh, what a tackle. Robertson. Well, well, that's a great tackle, that is. But United, I tell you what, I'm getting goosebumps at the moment. Could have been a penalty on Robertson there, actually. Would have been harsh, but it could have been. Attacking, brilliant, defending, poor, says Liam. Well, you know, this is what, you know, you got Rashford, Rasmus and Ganacho together again. It's our best front three. We're never going to get a penalty for that. We didn't get one last week, did we, against Everton? We, ne we never get a penalty for that. We've had them given against us. So yeah, uh, probably was a penalty, but we never get them given. Oh, Delo, that was silly. No need to do that. We deserve a win because a Ten Hag suit. Klopp looks scruffy, says Goldio. Acti attack, uh, thank you, Liam, for that. Get in, says Milford. Philip Sutton's gifted five memberships as well. Sign him up for life, says Robert McCormack. You just scored this, Robert. Bloody hell. Your eyes light up when you see a chance like that. Well, look, 1-0 to United here. We were in this position against Man City a couple of weeks ago. We didn't capitalise on it. Come on, keep the passing good. Good ball by McTominay into Rashford. Back to Bruno, into Mainu. Some lovely... Hey, up, ref. How late was that on Bruno? Mainu, go on. Oh, ref, go back and send him off. Where's the advantage? Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, look at this again. Where's the bloody midfield again? You can't do this. Oh, God, this is the problem. Where's the fucking midfield here? Mainu, ha, just too good. We need to keep it up, says Florian. Well, the problem with this is we're on the attack with Mainu. Ends up in the keeper's arms. Rolls it out. McTominay's forward. Bruno's injured. We've got no midfield. I need to keep an eye on this. McTominay scored his goal in an area where Rasmus would have scored, to be honest. I think McTominay needs to stay deeper now. We're 1-0 up. Everyone's getting excited getting forward. Bruno's going forward. McTominay's going forward. Mainu's getting forward. They're going to break on us. We're winning. Have a bit of discipline. Hell of a big gap again in that midfield. Push the defensive line. See, look at this again. Push the defensive line up a bit. I tell you what, how open this game is, it's going to be entertaining.
Uh, thanks for the super chats, by the way. You can do that through the dollar sign. Florian says, main news just too good. We need to keep this up. Yeah, remember Liverpool played Thursday night football as well. Still 1-0 to... Oh, no, it's not. It's 1-1. Villa have got a goal. 1-1. Bit of a pain, that. Good, good point for Villa, that. Well done, Rasmus. Lovely play. Here's Ganacho. Still got it. That's a foul. Do we suddenly remember how to play football? Says Eden. Well, you know what it is. I think. I think. Um, I think the. I think the players. Um, it's what we said, isn't it? If you can't get up for this game, it's almost harder to get up for the game against Everton and Fulham than this. If you can't get up for this, what can you do? Jordan, thank you very much for the follow. Need to be a little bit careful defensively. We've got a goal. 1-0 will, will put us through. Like, we just need to be a little bit care. Did Scott refuse to celebrate with Rasmus, says Niki? Um, no, I don't think so. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Bruno with this free kick. Going to whip it in. It's an interesting area. Ooh, goes out for a goal kick. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Bottom right hand corner. 1 0 to United. A lot of people offside here as well. Liverpool playing a high line. Juan, thank you very much. Welcome to the Members Club. Long way to go. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. I have got back pain today, ISO. It really is bad. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I've done to it. It really does hurt. But I'll get through it. I'm match fit. But yeah, I think from a United performance, there's not a bad player on the pitch at the moment. That's what we wanted. That's what we asked for. Thomas says, did he refuse to celebrate with Rasmus? I hate you lot. I don't know what's going on with that one. Oh, here we go. Robertson. Little dinky cross over hit, but they're still going to pick it up on the back post. We don't want Aston Villa vibes where we go 1-0 up and then we just lose the ability to play. Mohamed uh, has been a member for 24 months. Thank you very much. Um, as it stands, Villa are drawing 55 points. Fifty-six points. Let's put some nine points ahead of us, but we've got a game in hand. Ah, it's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Um Come on, United, we can win this. It's Sonic. Uh where are those Ten Hag outers? Hey, Ray, too early. That Rasmus hoodie is great, says Milford. Yeah, we sell them on the United Stand Shopify if you want to get one. Um, and we ship them worldwide. Keep it simple, says Xander. Yes. Uh, Dogman says, I'm curious to know if you could have any player in the world right now, who would it be? Um, I, I, you know what? I think I'd bring in a midfielder. You know, someone like a Rodri or a Declan Rice. I just think we're, we're massively missing that sort of midfield. The front three is workable. Um you know, I think you could improve it, but it's workable. Um, great tackle, Mainu. Was miles ahead of the ball there. Shut up. Good inception, Wambasaka. But the thing is, one of, you know what? We, we, we struggled against Everton and we struggled against Fulham. But one player, two players, can make a big difference. Um... Having somebody who can play at left back like wan -Bissaka, having someone who can play up front like Rasmus, it does change the team. And if you add Martinez in, it becomes even better. wan is perfect for a game like this. Defensively, loves it. Up against, the you know, arguably the best player in the league. Offside. 
Tell you what, this first 20 minutes has flown by though, hasn't it? What a start by United to Crasher. Just makes a big difference when you can start well. We spoke about it before the game. First 10 minutes was going to dictate it. In the first five minutes, we had a couple of half chances. By the ninth minute, we're 1-0 up. You, you've got to start these games like this. You know? You've got, to, you, you've got to get the crowd going. Because if you sit back for the first 10 minutes and the, the crowd are watching Liverpool dominate the ball, they don't get up for it. I mean, I, I'm old school. I've seen, I've seen, I've played the game. I've seen Sir Alex do it time and time again. First 10 minutes. Right, where's the runner? McTominay, where's he going to go? Into Rasmus. Goes for a throw in. McTominay and Rasmus having a go at each other. He's right. Rasmus is right. It was a shit ball by McTominay. He's right. But ni nice to see a bit of passion as well. I've just met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where is he? Where is he? My, my Liverpool mate who messaged me saying I'm glad McTominay's starting. So am I, mate. Yeah. Good to see a bit of passion there. As Wraith says, Rasmus quite ro rightly bollocking McTominay there. It was an abysmal decision. Yeah. Rasmus is making the straight run and he pays an angled side run. It's a ball. It's not the right ball. Lindelof is underrated. Really hope we can keep him, says James. Lindelof's a funny player, you know. Like, he, he, I remember last season when he was playing with Varane. Played really, really well. Kept Maguire out the team. He's a funny player, Lindelof. You sometimes think you want to sell him and then other times you just go, he's perfect. Should we go after Bruno Gomerez, says Sahil. I don't think we've got the money, mate. I don't think we're going to take Dan Ashworth and Bruno Gomerez. I do read uh, SWFC. wan is doing good, says Rian. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. And thanks for the follows as well. Thanks, Jack Farrell. Right, Bruno's got a chance to whip across in the, here. Still too many people saying we're going to win. Long way to go. And I've, I've watched Liverpool a lot this uh, last few weeks. And the, the second half, they're amazing. Bruno shoots with that free kick, which I think was a bit of a waste. Um, But yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool in the second half. They, they, they like, like like last week at Anfield against Man City, they were like a different team. They've not been anything like the Liverpool I've seen recently, and that's a testament to United that we've, you know, probably caught them a little bit unawares. It's a lot, lot better from United though. You know, I know there's a lot of Ten Hagers out there who talk about style of play and all this bollocks, but this first 24 minutes against one of the best teams in the Premier League, very, very impressive. And and it is about the players. You know, a lot of people are saying we missed wan -Bissaka. We missed Rasmus as well. You bring those two players in, you haven't got a left-back, you haven't got a centre-back at left-back, you've got a proper centre-forward. It, it just makes a difference to the team. And we will get better the more players we bring back. Kieran, welcome to Members Club. And Sean says, I like the passion that we are passing in triangles to create chances, says Sean. Shouldn't we go straight after Gamer? I thought he said, I, I thought he said, he says, shouldn't we go straight after Gamerez, says Sahil. I thought he said, shouldn't we go for a pint of Guinness? Well, it is Paddy's Day. Liverpool thought we'd park the bus, says Pasta. Uh, Selva and Jacob, thanks for the follow. Mitchell says, what do you think the score will be? I predicted 1-0, um, which still could be right, but I don't think we've seen the last goal in this game.
Oh my God, massive news coming in at West Ham. Late, late winner. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to West Ham. Well, they've had one all ruled out already. 95th minute of seven added on. West Ham have a goal. Uh, Mavra, Mavra Panos. But hold on, here's Liverpool on the attack. We'll keep an eye on that. Good play by Lindelof on Nunez. West Ham are 2-1 up. It was 1-1. Tristan says get in there. We'll have to wait and see if it gets given or not. I don't know how the goal went in. Um, and Sky haven't got it anyway. It's not on the telly, so I can't tell you. Of course, West Ham played on Thursday night as well, didn't they? Corner for Liverpool. They've got height, but it's Baran. The Rolls Royce gets his head on it. Goal's been given, says Connor. Well, I tell you what. Spurs losing to Fulham yesterday, absolutely battered. If West Ham beat Villa, it's a good weekend for United without playing, and sometimes that can happen. Um, thanks for the follow, George. And Turney said, Turneraj says, and fans still want Moyes out. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Uh, Mavropanos scored. Atomic Splash, welcome to Members Club. And Sia says that wan is a better left-back than Lindelof or Amrabat, just keep him there till the end of the season. Oh, yeah. Well, he's a fullback here, isn't he? Here's Ganacho. Now, he's got to wait for this overlap from Rasmus. Here it is from Rasmus. Oh, he slipped. Key moment. Slipped. He did a slippy G. Thanks for the follow, Ket. And Nathan and T. West Ham goal under review, says Lex. Uh, I don't think it is. Mike McCann, thanks for the follow. Well, there's a few changes from United today because Varane's playing left centre-back. McTominay, don't stand still. Do not stand still. Look at this. Where's the midfield again? You've got to get back. There's no midfield. They're just running at the back four. Good block. That's it. So, uh, oh, West Ham goal might not be given. Still under review. Little ball over the top. There's an Arna. Ah, Liverpool aren't playing that well, you know. They're not. Man United have... Um... I don't know. It's, it's very unlike Liverpool. From If you've been watching Liverpool for the last few weeks, this is just not like them at all. Nice play by Bruno. Rashford. Keep the ball. The... Funny how players from a nearly relegated Bundesliga club are killing in the Premier League. Endo and Mavra Panos, both from Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart get Garassi says Leon uh, it's mad how West Ham versus Villa is the biggest Premier League clash says Scarecrow well they're still reviewing the VAR for West Ham McTominay only passes backwards. It's annoying, says Mike B, but he's got the goal. And as we know, if McTominay doesn't score a goal, he doesn't tend to have a good game. Well, he scored a goal, and that'll do. But Liverpool are on the attack here. Edge of the box, McAllister. Lovely ball out wide to Robertson, who takes it first time. It's a lovely cross, but it's Varane again. Edge of the box, and Arna gets hold of it from Sir Bosley. Bruno's pulled his socks up a bit today, says Jay. I think Bruno's been really good today.
Uh, West Ham goal has been ruled out. It stays at 1-1. One, one. Haven't seen it. Can't comment on it. We'll certainly look at it later on. But Alexi McAllister has just been booked. Yeah, Bruno's been a lot better today. But then again, you know, give him the credit. But you've got to turn up in games like this. I know it's only been 30 minutes, but I'm very pleased with everyone so far, says Mike. Nice little ball by Bruno. And uh, looping header by Varane, but never enough power on that. Uh, Winston said, is the West Ham game going to penalties? No. Where's the midfield again? Fucking hell, we can't have this. McTominay and Maynard have got to get back quicker. We can't have this gap again. It's every bloody week. All these prats that say Champions League Varane isn't one of the best in the league are taking the piss, says Gummy. Well, Liverpool are just starting to get back into it a little bit at the moment. They are going to do that. They're a good team. Oh, Diaz skips past Delo, but he does well to get back in on him. Mount second half, says Matt. Why don't we look for a centre-back like Lacroix from uh, Wolfsburg? Young, fast and strong, says Marcus Brown. I haven't seen any of the West Ham disallowed goals, so it would be wrong of me to commit. But uh, could end up being a good... Uh, Mike Thomas says it was a six-minute VAR check for West Ham, which sounds ridiculous. Justin says, I've always loved the Varane lindelof centre-back partnership. They, they, they had a period together last year and it worked really well. Um, I mean, the best pen... Who would you say, what would you say is Man United's top three centre-back partnerships? <coughs> Obviously Varane and Martinez. I think everything with Varane. I think Varane and Martinez, Varane and Shaw, Varane and Lindelof. <laughs> I think they're the best, best three centre-back partnerships we've got. There's a common theme there, isn't there? Uh... Rice Farmer says, I hope you're having a good day. I'm wishing you all the best. Thanks, pal. Uh, Colin says, I'm starting to think that Rasmus has got a few Scooby snacks in his pocket the way McTominay is following him around. Well, one thing I know is we'll see a very different Liverpool in the second half. So we've got to, got to make sure that we've, we've still got this lead at half time. They need to get Ganacho more involved, says Jeff. Uh, Patrick says, our formation is 5-5, which is ridiculous. Uh, Wambasaka, Mena and Bruno have been bright. You also see how much we've missed Rasmus' hard work up front, says Patrick. It's a lovely ball by Delo out to Rashford. I mean, Rashford's just simplified his game today. He's not done anything stupid, um, which I quite like. Bruno shoots from distance, way too far out. Easy save for the keeper. It's catching practice. Uh, Itaki says, Delo's been man of the match so far. I think both fullbacks have done really well. And Mainu. I think the way that Mainu has dribbled with the ball has uh, been fantastic. And he's got Rashford in here. Where's the cutback? This is a goal! Oh, no! McTominay, what a goal that would have been. Brilliant play by Mainu. And um, gets Rashford in, who cuts it back to McTominay. And he's in the end zone. That's where McTominay... Really is absolutely brilliant, and he hits it straight at the keeper. And I, I, I was, you know, that's what McTominay does. That's where he's good. 
Oh, God, this could be a goal. Lindelof misses the tackle I thought he would get. Oh, Ganacho. Oh, Anana, good save. Bloody hell. What a game. It's entertaining, isn't it? It's entertaining. Are you not entertained? It is entertaining. I think McTominay should have scored. I'd like to see it back. Oh, that goes in behind wan but it goes for a goal kick. Uh, Delo has... De what, a, what, a, what a player Delo has de developed into, says Shane. Break the ice. Thank you very much. Th um, appreciate that. We can't have a draw, Ruben. We, it would have to go to penalties. This is the chance I want to see. Rashford, lovely cutback. And McTominay. Yeah, it, it, surely that's a goal for McTominay. I'd like to see it from behind, but surely just put it in the bottom corner. Oh, here we go for Liverpool. They're all queuing up. Goal. Endo. Uh, it's uh, it's a soft, soft goal. To... Oh, it's offside. Flag goes up. I don't even know where it came from, but it's offside for Liverpool. Um, Bruno gets caught in possession. Yeah, he is offside there. Salah. They use the extra man really well, but he's offside. Endo. We got away with that. I don't really know who was passing it into Bruno there, but that, that could have been a problem. It's, uh, it is definitely offside. Uh, all four FA Cup games have been good this weekend. Do you reckon the FA could be getting better as the standard of each team is better, says Roberto? Um, passing and work rate's been really good. Need to stick with this Delo. Superb so far. Happy for Inanna, says Davey. Uh, David, and let's hope we don't get complacent, says J Jive Josh. I mean, that's miles offside. Why are we even looking at it? What a waste. Just wasted a minute. Fucking miles offside. You can see it down the line. It's bloody obvious. There's a line there. It's caught the edge of the box. Um, Aaron Wabasak is making such a difference, says Tom. Well, the reason that was nearly a goal for Liverpool was, was stupid, you know, ca careless passing out from the back. You know, we can't be making mistakes against teams like this. Because you will get punished. It was a training ground gold for Liverpool, that. There's Anana. Easy. Quick off his line. Trevor says it's not miles off. Come on. Well, mate, there's a penalty box line. And you can see that Lindelof's hardly over it. And then Salah's miles over it. It's called miles off, mate. Thirty-eight minutes, nearly at half time. Of course, it could come down to who's got the better bench. There's Liverpool again. Joe Gomez never scored a goal for Liverpool. Salah, offside. The flag's up, offside. Shut up. It's off. It's offside. Yeah, just looking at the benches for both teams. Amrabat, Maguire, Mount, Eriksen, Diallo, Anthony, Heaton, Kambuala, Forson. And then for Liverpool, Adrian, Gakpo, Elliot, Simikas, Gravenberg, Clark, McConnell, Dans and Bradley. So their bench is not particularly strong attacking-wise for Liverpool. Got a, lot, got a few midfielders like Gravenberg uh, and Elliot. I mean, Gakpo's an attacker, but... Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's. Um... User one two three four five nine says, "What's your thoughts on Mason Mount?" Well, I, I want to see more of him. I mean, it's it's almost like a new signing signing again, isn't it? I mean, we just haven't seen enough of him yet. David Ross says it was a very close offside. I I disagree. I think it was absolutely blatantly offside. I've played the game. Here's Nunez for Liverpool. It matters not. It was offside anyway. I could see it was miles offside. If you couldn't, it's still offside. It's not close. It's not debatable if that's what you're thinking. Lovely play by Erasmus down the wing. <coughs> Lovely. 
Can he play into Ganacho? He needs a pass. That's a nice ball to Rashford, that is. Puts a cross in. No. Headed away. And that's going to be for a goal kick. Do you think Ten Hag should have played either of his backup keepers this season, says Sam? I haven't really given it a lot of thought, Sam, really. I think there was a time around December time where Inanna was struggling, but... Uh, um, Inanna's definitely growing into the role. Why are they saying about Liverpool's injuries but not ours, says Tony? Because the media can't stand Ten Hag. They've got an agenda. Four minutes to go to half-time. Nice little ball out wide. Lee Berman talking about wan being such a big miss. Thoughts on Maynou, says Zed. At, well, I don't want to tempt fate because he's had a great game. Ganacho's got to go for that there. That's a 50-50 ball and he's let the player on the ground win the ball. Come on. It's Liverpool, for God's sake. I don't think there's been a bad performance from any player from United and that's all we can ask for, really. 11 shots to 7. 7 on target to 3. Hopefully they come out in the second half with the same intensity and don't lose focus. I think you're right, Karash. We've got to get to half-time first. But how many times have we seen United come out slow in the second half? And how many times have we seen Liverpool come out quick in the second half? So, yeah. But let, we've got to get there. Scooby-Doo in for height. And he can and he never wins ahead of us, says Brian. And Mark, do you think Bruno will step up his game knowing that Mount is back, says Paul? I hope so. He's had a good game today. This is where you got it. I like that. Maynou and McTominay in front of the back four. No space. Good. Well done, Delo. Two minutes to half time. United just sitting in a bit here, which I don't. I think this is a tactic now. Get to half time, just sit in a little bit. Probably the deepest we've played all half. Oh, he's skipped past Rashford there. I think you've got to look at Rashford there. I think you got to look. I, I, I think McAllister's just scored. I think you got to look at Rashford there. Fucking hell! I mean, you know what? What 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 sort of marking is that? What to, what sort of attack? And I've got to see it again. But this is Kwanzaa. Just skep. It just goes past. Ra That's terrible from Rashford. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. He can put his hands up in the air, but he's just let him go. And the goal deflects in off a defender. But Rashford's got... That's a centre-back. You can't allow that to happen. The goal's a little bit lucky because it gets a deflection on it. But you can't let that happen. Absolute shit. That's shocking from Rashford, that. Absolutely shocking. And all the work undone. That, I, I, I don't really have anything to say. It's, it's lazy. That's what, exactly what it is. It's lazy. That's a centre pack. That's a centre back taking you on and going past you. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. And all the work we've done. We're basically going to go in at half-time 1-1. One, one. 
What did we talk about? Concentration. Effort. <coughs> uh, the go look, the goal itself deflects off Mainu. You can't blame Mainu. You can't blame the goalkeeper. It's a bit lucky, but defensively, you know, Rashford's been exploited there. So annoying, but you're only as strong as your weakest link. And if if, if somebody's not going to defend, just annoying, just just annoying, absolutely annoying. That I'm struggling these days to support a club that employs Rashford. I just can't for the life of me understand how he is United through and through. I don't wanna. He just hasn't had it as part of his game for ever since his back injury. He just doesn't do the defensive work. But, you know, the, the football's moved on. The days of having a Cristiano Ronaldo in your side and them not having to defend are gone. Two one. Someone call for Brizio Romano. Here we fucking go. How are we 2 1 down in this game at half time? How, how are we 2 1 down at half time? I can't fucking believe it. Liverpool won't believe this. I mean, Bruno's too weak there. You can't fucking. What? Why? Why? What? That whole. That whole tackle. Oh, I fucking believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. I don't think that's good goalkeeping from Anana as well. That is so unorthodox to palm it back into your fucking... Why is he palming it back into that area? If you know, you know. If you know goalkeeping, why is he palming that shot there? He does that too often as well. I haven't seen it if it's a foul on Bruno. They might have a look at it. I haven't seen I want to see it again. I want to see this foul. Heads down and they quit, says Mike B. Why are we not seeing the replay of this? Bruno's had a yellow card. Why are we not seeing the replay of this? Why are we not seeing the replay? Given. Oh, makes me sick. Makes me fucking sick. Why are we not seeing the bloody replay of it? Corrupt. Why are we not seeing the replay? VAR looked at it. Why they've not why won't they show us the bloody replay? Absolute fucking disgrace. I've had enough of it. I've had enough of this bloody VAR. I can't say whether it's a foul because I haven't bloody seen it. Uh, G-Man, that was not a good save by Anana. Go I'll tell you what, I'll speak to Ben Foster about it tomorrow and he will tell me exactly what he's been telling me all season. Anana's, the way he palms shots away is weird. He doesn't palm it out for corners. He doesn't palm it to safety. He always palms it back into danger. I can't believe we're one. I can't believe we're losing 2 1 after this. It makes it makes me want to throw up. We do not deserve. Colin says we saw the replay a few times in America. We do not deserve to be 2 1 down at half time. Unbelievable. And that's what happens when you switch off. McTominay's shaking his head. You want to go and have a talk to one of your teammates, mate? Fucking ridiculous. 
Lazy, lazy bastards. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You put in a half like that, you should at least be going in level and we're going in 2-1 down. And people want to blame the manager. It's the fucking players. We played well for 42 minutes and then a couple of players decide to fuck about. I'll tell you what, Bruno got booked for moaning about it. If I see on the replay he wasn't fouled, he's as bad as Rashford on that first goal. You cannot take a tumble in that position. You've got to protect the ball. You've got to protect the ball. Uh, Schoolboy defending, no attempt to mark Nunez coming from the offside position. Everyone knows that how that's how Liverpool like to score because it's dangerous, says David. Um, why are we defending so much? What's happening, says Shashank? Well, we're not actually defending that much. Look, we've had 11 shots. We've had seven on target. They've had 10 shots. They've had six on target. They've had more of the ball. They're always going to have more of the ball. They're more of a possession-based team than us. But we shouldn't be losing 2-1. You know, I think that... I just think Rashford on the first goal is shocking. How we can say he's not for sale makes me laugh. I'm not saying we should sell him, but why are we saying, oh, we're not going to sell him? Like, it, it, it's unbelievably crap defending when you're 1-0 up against your biggest rival to just let a centre-back take you on. I mean, that just says everything about what's wrong with this playing squad. You're 1-0 up against Liverpool. You're not expected to win. You are the underdog. You're 1-0 up. It's 42 minutes. In three minutes, you can have a sit down. You're 1-0 up against your biggest rival. And you decide to get skinned by a centre-back on the edge of the box by putting more effort, less effort than a fucking corpse. I've seen a bag of cement tackle better than that. And then, and then... As soon as Kwanzaa's past Rashford, he's got no one near him. They're in position. All right, it deflects in. But you can't defend like that. And you can't defend that attitude in a Man United shirt. It's fucking lazy. And we've seen it too often this season. There is no excuse for that. I said in the preview, I said last night, there's no excuse today for people who can't be arsed. And we've, we're 1-0 up, and we would be 1-0 up if... People could be asked. That whole first goal is just laziness. Lazy. He has let the whole team down on that goal. And then the second goal, I'll tell you what, I can't I can't argue about the second goal because I don't know what happens. But I'm telling you now, if Bruno takes a tumble under no contact, then that's on him as well. And again, it comes down to two big players having the wrong attitude in the right game. And we can't carry that. We can't carry that. I think the Lowe's played well. I think wan has played well. I think Varane and Lindelof have played well. I think mainu has been fantastic out of position. You know, I think um, Rasmus has given us something going forward. But, you know, both goals were player error. Not Eric Ten Hag's fault, says Gavin. Lindelof is not good enough for Man United to Charville. Sell Bruno and Rashford, disgrace of players, says Mohamed. Game after game, it's Bruno and Rashford and I'm tired, says Mr. Darkside. United players always look down and ignore Bissaka for a pass. Why did Bruno not return the pass to wan -Bissaka, even though it was clear wan -Bissaka wanted it, says Emmanuel. Um, I don't mean to be harsh, but Bruno is terrible. What's the reason for that silly fall, says Fayon. And I was going to chat saying what a great first half of football and then the players crapped themselves, um, says LJ. Um, yeah, well, you know, it's just massively, massively disappointing because, you know, fair play to Liverpool. They've, they're 2-1 up. We can't argue about either goal, I don't think. But never in a million years, I just can't believe we're losing 2-1. I just can't believe we've, we, we've orchestrated that. And this is why I said to you in the preview, this game will come down to the players. Because that is just players that are downing tools again. This can't be arsed. Just cannot be asked. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm done with this front four. All of them need to go. Give Ahmad a chance on the right, says Tom. Rashford not keeping with his man. Um, and Bruno losing the ball in his own third. Is anyone really surprised, says um, Duncania. Usual suspects. Bruno and Rashford at fault for both goals. Get rid, says Akshay. Well, we're going to see them back now. I mean... 
take a deep breath. Every single cent Bruno has in the bank has been spent this season. Very close to saying, ship him off, says Muyad. I haven't really seen it. Is Harry Maguire still Manchester United's captain, says Alf? Um... Well, they're showing the first goal back first. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Bruno and, An Bruno and Rashford will end this club. They've got to go, says James. I mean, it's a great pass by Rashford, this, into Ganacho. Really good pass. Ganacho does everything right. Good shot. McTominay's there to score. But I'm not interested in that. I think we've done all the hard work. Um... It's what's it's what's coming in next that I'm I'm absolutely baffled by, if I'm being honest. Absolutely baffled by. I cannot understand. Everybody's in the right position. Liverpool are probing at the end of the half. We're actually playing a little bit deep. We're playing a little bit contact, uh, uh, compact. Watch this. Everything's right here. We're in a good position. That centre back. Look. That is shit. That is absolute shit. If Rashford takes him out, if he fouls him, if he does something, they don't get the shot. It's so bad from Rashford. So bad. The centre-back starts central. Ah, oh, it's terrible. It's even worse on the replay. Yeah, everybody's in the right position there. Everybody's in the right position. And Rashford fucking lets it down. It's awful. Awful defending. Now, the next one, i got to see this. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. So Anana to Wambasaka. Into Bruno. It's gotta be stronger there. I think he's gotta be. I, I need to see it closer than that. I mean, it, it's not a very good angle, but. I think, it, I think it's. I can I can see why they've not. I can see why VAR's not overturned it, because it's not going to be clear and obvious. I think Bruno's got to protect it better. If I'm being completely honest, use your whole body. Uh, Anthony says that Keane laid into Rashford, mate. My dead gran would lay into Rashford. I mean, you don't need to have played the game. It was. Absolute shit. Absolute shit. And also, I'm going to say it as well, while we're calling people out, I don't care whether you're Peter Shilton or Peter Stilton. The bottom line is, that is not orthodox keeping by an honor. That is not what you're taught to do as a goalkeeper. Never in a million years. I will get Ben Foster on the show tomorrow. I will ask him about that second goal. And he will tell me, don't know what he's doing there. Don't know why he's getting a full palm on it and palming it straight into the penalty spot. He's got a full palm on it. He doesn't need to do that. He can be tipping it over the bar. It's all about your hand. He's got a straight hand like a curb and he puts it straight back into danger. He has got a full hand on that. He can just pull his arm and tip it over the box. But Anana does this a lot. And he's been playing well recently, but he does it a lot. Watch him over the next few weeks. He palms shots into weird areas. That's got to be going out to the far side or over the bar. He's got the time to do it. He's got a full fucking palm on it. He can turn his palm easily. It's not good goalkeeping, Matt. But we shouldn't be 2-1 down. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. And it's a hard job now. It's a hard job for United. Um, make sure you subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. Hopefully this will be a kick in the ass for the next half, says Mario Franco. But the terrifying thing for me is, and I'm pretty sure any Liverpool fan's going to say this, Liverpool were rubbish. That's probably the worst 45 minutes I've watched from Liverpool in the last three months. They, they didn't play well. That wasn't a good half by Liverpool. So if they come out in the second half and play well, God knows what's going to happen. Um, yeah. Uh, Aaron wan has had Salah in his pocket. I feel sorry for Maynu and Delo playing fantastic, but I have to deal with Rashford and Bruno, says Lucas. Uh, what? 
Weak players get them out. I personally don't like playing from the back, says Rock of Bolton. Fawani, welcome to the Members Club. Thank you very much. Uh, why are we play, play, playing four minutes of time added on, says Jamie Spencer. Probably because of the offside. Um, Eric says, I watched my home team from Sweden play against the best team in Sweden in the Swedish Cup yesterday. And when they fall, they rise again quick and fight for the badge, says Eric. Um... On the plus side, maybe we come out in the second half with something to prove for once, says Nick P. And I'm starting to believe the system Eric Ten Hag doesn't make sense in the Premier League. I'm tired of these defensive mistakes, says Shatter. Mate, I don't care whether you're Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp or Eric Ten Hag. There's nothing systematic about a player not being asked to track a runner. That's not... that that That's, that's personal. You know, you, you've got to ask Marcus Rashford why he can't be asked to tackle. I mean, it, 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 you know, Rash, Roy Keane spot on. I'm spot on. You're spot on. There's no, there's no, there's no misinterpretation there. There's no benefit of the doubt. It's absolutely disgusting defending. It's I can't be asked to tackle, and I tell you for free. Everybody saw it. I can't be asked to put a tackle in. Well, if you can't be asked to put a tackle in, you're in the wrong shirt, because we need players who put a tackle in there. It's as simple as that. Don't care about the brand. Don't care about how much you earn. Don't care. It doesn't matter who it is. Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hoyland, Raphael Varane, whoever does that in that situation outs themselves as somebody who can't be asked. And if you can't be asked against Liverpool, you're at the wrong bloody club. Why can't you be asked to put that tackle in when everybody's in position and you let them down? Why can you not be asked? What is it in your head that makes you think I can't be asked to put a tackle in? When we've worked our arse off to be 1-0 up and we're two minutes off half time and you can't be asked to tackle a Liverpool player. Explain that to me because it's beyond, it's beyond comprehension. I don't understand it. And if you've got a player who does that, you're never going to win. If he can't be asked to put a tackle in against Liverpool, what chance have we got against Fulham or Everton? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I, I just cannot believe it. At that point of the game, to be 1-0 up, two minutes from half time, everything's in the right position, and then it all falls apart because of that. Um, anyone notice wan did well in his new role? I think we've all noticed that, Fawani. United don't have an answer for Nunez's movements, his logic. Oh, come on. Mate, stop, stop rewriting the script. If Rashford puts the tackle in, we're winning 1-0 at half-time and you ain't talking about Nunez's movement. You know. You know, I don't have an answer, apparently. Uh, thanks for gifting 10 memberships, um, Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> Not bad. Um, thank you very much. Right. Please do subscribe to the channel, bottom right-hand corner. We've got match reaction straight after this where you can do your player ratings. I did say before the game that um, we need every player in this game to put in at least a 7 out of 10. How many players are actually doing that so far? I guarantee Rashford's going to be below 6 at the moment. I think Bruno's going to be below 6 at the moment. Um, you know, McTominay's fighting hard and he scored a goal, but at best, I'd probably give him a 6. Rasmus isn't getting anything better than a 6 because there's not a lot going on for him at the moment. Ganacho's probably a 6 as well at the moment. Um... Maynou's above a six. Delo's above a six. Wambasaka's above a six. Baran's above a six. We need more people above a six. Um, we're only uh, 100 subscribers away from 833,000. So please do subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. Players about to come out for the second half. Would we see Mason Mount um, coming in um, second half? We'll have to wait and see. As things stand, it will be Chelsea, Man City, Coventry and Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-finals. Um... Uh, Mike James says, I know you're pissed off, but uh, Mainu is absolutely generational. The technique. Oh, and that's the sad thing, Mike. We, we, we've not had chance to appreciate some of the dribbling from uh, Kobe Mainu, which has been, you know, fantastic. Um, he, he's played so well in a position that really isn't his position. But uh, look, 45 minutes attacking the Stretford end. We're 2-1 down. It is what it is. I, I find it you know, surprising, but it is. And um, if you could speak to Ten Hag, what would you say, Ollie? Pfft, look, there's enough people on Ten Hag's back, but taking this game as in isolation, I just don't think we've done much wrong. I really don't. I think it's just come down to 
week, week. Two week scenarios from two of our highest earners, unfortunately. And, you know, you don't expect that. That's what makes it worse. We expect a lot better from certain players. Uh, referee's about to kick off the second half. Here we go. Uh, the ball from Bruno from that set piece was class. There was just nobody there to get on the end of it, says Daddy. Uh, I will not forgive the goalkeeper. A better goalkeeper would have saved the first and done better with the parry for the second. I'm sick of this goalkeeper, says Ash. I, I, don't, I don't blame him on the first one. I think it's a deflection, but um, come on, Rashford. Now, this is where he can do something. Space down the left-hand side. Where are we going? Into Wambasaka. Corner. Come on, get get start on it. Players started well. Mainu's quality and Rashford's not good enough, says Mitchell. The players just back from injury probably don't have 90 minutes in there and we've got no depth, says Ryan, which is worrying. Subs obviously going to play a part. Thank you very much. Bruno's the captain, says Robert. Never a proud foul on Bruno. Strong challenge, but fair. Why is Anana playing out with a minute left of the ball anyway, says HW. Um, Rex says this is what you get for benching um, Maguire. And Fearless says, we don't need to be so overreactive. It's suddenly an emergency. We saw how we want to play in the first 10. Uh, mate, I'm not I'm not even talking about it. I think we played well. What what what's annoying me and probably annoying others, and it's not reactive, it's just that it's just the mistakes. You can't make mistakes in a game like this. Anyway, look, let's leave that for full time. There's a there's another 45 minutes here, and uh, you know, we've got to go and score. Now, I thought Nunez had scored then. Put a cross in, and uh, I just saw the ball hitting the net. Fucking hell. That, I tell you what, that's the difference between, you know, Anana gets lucky here. Because if that goes in, there is a problem. Thankfully, he's kept it out. That would have been a blunder. Need a better captain, says Red Smurf. Cross coming into the back post. You've got to get hold of that, Anana. Well done. Come on. Come on, then. Let's be having you. Tudor says, Maynou's got Real Madrid written all over him. Here they go again. Cut back to the edge of the box. Where's the marking? Blocked by Varane. Where's the marking on the edge of the box? That You can't leave Sabozlai on the edge of the box to take a shot. Balance of the midfield. Shit. Absolute shit. We called it before the game. The back four's okay. The front three's okay. The midfield three is imbalanced. It's like a pisshead doing a bloody tightrope. Here we go. Ganacho down the left-hand side. Drive, mate. Drive. 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 Lovely ball. Oh, where? Why is, why is it McTominay? Where's Rasmus? It was Rasmus. <laughs> oh, go home. Go home. I thought it was McTominay. Didn't look quick enough to be Rasmus. We all make mistakes. Uh, thanks for all the super chats, by the way. Do that through the dollar sign, United. Uh, listening in while shoveling turf. Please sell Marcus Rashford, says the Hughes lad. Here we go again. Look at the midfield again. 
Where is the midfield again? It's so easy to get at us. There's Ganacho. Then again, it, it works the other way, doesn't it? Rashford's offside. Rashford's offside. No, he's not. He wasn't. Play on. Goes for a throw in. We open up the pitch, don't we? That's what we do, but we don't use the ball well enough. I mean, like Ganacho then had a load of space to run into. Uh, Bruno's like a headless chicken and he runs everywhere, says Nitro. Damo says you should have gone to Specsavers. Well, it's not it's not it's not a massive thing to uh it's not a massive surprise that I mixed up McTominay with Rasmus. They both got blonde hair and McTominay loves to play where Rasmus is. Well done, Varan. Well done, Varan. Rasmus looks tired. Well, this is going to be the problem. I, I don't think we're going to get 90 minutes out of them, are we? Liverpool's experience is going to be the problem here as well. Having to chase the game against Liverpool, you, you don't want to be behind. You don't want to be behind. Well done, wan And his Bruno. People actually thought Bruno was better than Pogba, says Zuteng. Lovely play by McTominay. Puts the cross in. Kelleher drops it, but gets it. Uh, Pickle says we were playing well, but now we've bottled it. Well, this happens with United, isn't it? You know, as soon as we go behind, it becomes a problem. And Liverpool hit us with the old one, quick one-two, didn't they? You get the first goal, you're going to get the second one. Boys are looking tense and Liverpool look at ease marks, says Spencer. Go on, Maynou. Go on, Maynou. Into Rashford. Right, there's a 4v3 here. Bruno. Where's he going? Oh, for fuck. Why is he not cutting that back there? What's he doing there? We're going to get stretched chasing the equaliser, says Daryl. And uh, Mark, look at the body language. We're finished, says Akil. Rasmus was only a couple of weeks. He can't be un that unfit, says Little Fat. At the end of the day, I don't know what Bruno's moaning for anyway. It's only a fucking throw in. It's not like it was a penalty. He's on a yellow card. He needs to be bloody careful. Well done, Maynou again. And again. And again, now McTominay, where are we going? Switch it, other side, other side. Maynou, Ganacho. oh, unlucky. He's won it back, though. Come on, United. Oh, fucking hell, Bruno. Bru McTominay, where's he going? Oh, he's not going to give a foul. Again? That one looked like more of a foul than Bruno. I tell you what, they nearly scored then, and I, I don't know. It looked like that was a foul on McTominay. Another handball by Robertson, but you don't get those given. We don't. You don't get those given. Here's Rasmus. Gets the shot off, but uh, Liverpool will come away with it. It's going end-to-end -end at the moment. You can clearly see the, the, the quit in Rashford and Bruno, says Corey. Good play by Delo, but Diaz gets past him. So it can't be good play. It is going end-to-end, -end, isn't it? Well, it's in our interest to make it go end-to-end -end, because Liverpool played on Thursday and they played last Sunday. We haven't played for eight days, so we need to keep the tempo up when you think about it. I know we've had foot, I know we've had injury problems, but we do need to keep it up. 
Oh, no! Fucking hell. In the box. Go on, wan -Bissaka. Go on, wan -Bissaka. Into the feet. Lovely ball. Right, here's Ganacho. That ball's there to Rasmus now. No. They don't want to pass to each other, do they? They don't want to pass to each other. The ball was there to Rasmus. Like, holding on to the ball again. Greedy wingers. It's going end to end, this. Lovely play, McTominay. Where are we going to go? Bad pass. You're going to get, you're going to tie yourself out, lads, with all this bad passing. Team's full of selfish players, not interested in teamwork, says Sean. Good save, Anana, there. That was a good shot by Sabozlai. Scott says, we need to stop going down looking for fouls. Yeah. To be fair, it is happening a lot. Another corner for Liverpool. I mean, it's, look, it's been a good game. I mean, I have been entertained. I'm not happy with the scoreline, but it has been a good game in, in, in relation to some of the performances we've put in this season. It has been a good game, but I just think it's been a bit wasteful. You can't be wasteful against a team like this. They're too uh, experienced. Next goal wins. Well, next goal equalises. If Liverpool score, next goal wins. The trouble is, in an open game like this, it is going end-to-end. -end, but of course, Liverpool are the sort of team... Bruno could get a second yellow card here. He could get a second yellow card. Nah, I don't think it was even a foul. Don't think it was even a foul, to be honest. In fairness, Bruno moans a lot. I don't think that was even a foul. Really don't. It's a 50-50 tackle. Watch it. Here we go. So Bozlai goes to hit it. I don't, think, I don't think that's even a foul. I think it's two players going for the ball. It's a good free kick position for Liverpool, though. They don't have... They don't have Trent Alexander-Arnold on the pitch, though. United players like Dolphins in the aquarium shows, diving and doing tricks... Says 58 go. Smart footballers, Trump tied football is my take on this game so far. They could have played two days ago and still be better than us, says Nick P. Just call me a Dossa Mark. We need to play down the right mid uh, mode with Delo and Ganacho, says Little. Uh, the players look knackered, to be fair, says Robert. Um, did you fancy a drink yesterday? The pub's lit, says J. Dot. Um, Ten Hag needs to make a sub. Rashford, Bruno, McTominay, says Connor. Crazy how these. Paris, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, eight days off and they're out on their feet, says Terence. Oh, yeah, because they moan about training, don't they? I mean, that's, this is their latest excuse. Paid Man United footballers moaning about having to work hard in training, but then they can't run as much as Liverpool, so they need to be trained, but they moan about it. It doesn't make any sense. And this is what the paid media are doing at the moment. They're sticking up for the players, saying they work too hard. They've had eight days off and they can't run as much as Liverpool, who played last Sunday and Thursday. The whole point they're being worked hard in training is because they're not fucking fit enough. Um, Danny says, red tinted glasses there, doesn't get the ball, studs up, catches the player, definitely a yellow. I, I, honestly, mate, I'd call for it as well if a Liverpool player did that, but I, I, I don't think it was blatant. Let's see Mount for Bruno before he gets a red, says Tom. Oh, you never do that. 
He'll never. I tell you what, if Bruno Fernandez gets sent off in this game, I don't think he'll come back from it. I think it'll, I think it'll get absolutely slaughtered. Hi, Mark. Nicholas here. United aren't up for it, says um, Nicholas. Yellow card, Joe Gomez, high foot. I mean, again, I think that's two players going for the same ball, actually. But uh, yellow card, Joe Gomez. Ronnie's Gaming Channel. Thanks for being a member for 14 months. Well, you, need, you needn't have worried about the sun being in the keeper's eyes. As I told you, in Manchester, you're lucky if it stays sunny for an hour because it's raining now. Good play between Varane and Wan-Bissaka. Oh, so see, it's that final pass again. We get into positions where... Liverpool just don't waste the ball. We get up the pitch and then it's that final pass time and time again. You know, I don't know what it is. Is it lack of quality, concentration? Here's Juan Bissaka. That's good play into Bruno. He's got to find a pass here. Oh, fucking hell, Bruno. What is he doing? He's lost the ball and then he's clutching his face. Same situation, one yellow, one not, says uh, Danny. To be fair, I think you're right. Welcome to Members Club, the drone project. Where's the pride in the shirt from some of these players? I think we need to make some changes. I think Liverpool are just starting to just get on. Their experience and quality on the ball is starting to kill us here. And you just feel that third goal coming. He's got to change it. Oh, what what a good bit of play by Nunes. He had, he had, he had Varane on toast there. And that was good goalkeeping by Anana as well. You can, you, you can sense it. You can sense a third Liverpool goal coming here. Heads hitting the ground. Thanks for the follow, Ferrari and Joe. Good block. Salah keeps it on. I don't know how he kept that on. Go throw in. <sighs> Liverpool keep targeting Anana's near post as IQ. Well, when you're that good, you can. It's all Liverpool at the moment, says Anonymous. This Endo guy is a machine. He's dominating our midfield, says Chiri. Mate, it's not hard to dominate a midfield that's got Bruno Fernandes and McTominay in it, to be fair. It's a one-man band with Kobe Mainu. They've got no defensive di discipline. They don't know how to keep the shape. They don't know how to mark a space. Bruno is going to go to the left wing because bloody Rashford isn't putting a shift in. Get him off. He's more invisible than Scooby-Doo, says Sumi. Uh, Marcus says Bruno shit been playing bad for more than a month Eric Ten needs uh, Ten Hag needs to grow a pair and sub him off wow the, the front three haven't been in the game for about 10 minutes I mean considering we're 2-1 down yeah remember we're 2-1 down here in a cup tie at Old Trafford 
Look at this by Diaz. This will be a goal. This will be a goal. They've got so many options. Salah. Oh, good set. Well, he didn't get enough power on it. I worried there. I was worried there. They're just not, they're not, you know, somebody just said in the chat there, we, we haven't come out for the second half. They're not, they've not come out for the second half because they just haven't got the mentality. You're playing Liverpool. You're playing Liverpool. It's only 2-1. You're attacking the Stratford end. It's only 2-1. It's a cup game. This is what I mean. They don't have the minerals. They do not have the minerals, some of these players. They don't get, they don't, they just don't get it. They don't get what it means to play Liverpool. As a Man United player. They're just going through the motions. Liverpool are absolutely dominating us at the moment. And look, at look, you can see it from half-time. We'd had more shots than them at half-time. Selling Fred was a huge mistake, says Marcus. Uh, has anyone noticed Liverpool's squads filled with captains, says Aaron. Well, we're, we're, we're going we're to go out of this tournament with a whimper in a minute. Good tackle by Maynou, but it's going to come back again. I think Bruno just got skinned by the bounce of a ball. Connor says you can blame the players, but you need to change it. <sighs> yeah, well, yeah, I, I would change it. I agree. I agree. I mean... How fits Mason Mount? You know, McTominay. I forgot he was on the pitch. I mean, that's that's a sub you can make straight away. Rashford's a player that he's took off before. I mean, he's not going to take Bruno off, but there's things you can do. I don't see why you'd bring Harry Maguire. Why, why would you bring Maguire on? I don't, I don't, I don't really get that. Can you sub your captain off, says uh, Chiri. Yeah, of course you can. I don't think you will. Do the players know where the Shretford end is, says Terence. Well, they might need a sat-nav today. <clears throat> Please take off Rashford, says Ramesh. Lovely ball over the top. And Arna's there. That's what you want. Oh, it's not a great kick, but it will do. Uh, Anthony says, Ricky was right. We'll never win anything with Bruno and Rashford in this team, both weak mentally and physically. Thanks, Anthony. Need says, I wish we'd signed Darwin instead of Rasmus. Well, it was in, it's not possible, mate. You've just made probably one of the most stupidest comments of the day. Rasmus signed for Man United last summer and Darwin signed for Liverpool the summer before. And United wanted to sign Darwin, but he chose Liverpool. So the circumstances don't fit. But also, Darwin Nunez in this United side ain't going to do anything. It all comes down to service, mate. What, what you know... What's Darwin Nunez going to do in this team with, with Bruno and Rashford around him? He's not going to do anything, is he? It's in, I tell you what, this is fucking embarrassing. I don't know why he's not making any subs because if you think about the first 40 minutes and then you look at the last 30 minutes, it's like watching two teams. And, it, and, and that, to me, is just exactly what we've been talking about before. Players that just can't be bothered. The, the players that just don't want to put a shift in. Like, it, it's absolutely disgusting. 
disgusting, the lack of effort from some certain players on that pitch. And I don't know why he won't take him off. Why wouldn't you take them off? They're not doing anything. So you can't say, oh, you know, they're a match winner. They're not doing anything. Take them off. Like Lindelof's got the ball there and he's like, who am I passing to? No one bloody wants it. Good play by the low, uh, McTominay, sorry. Why didn't Rashford control that? Why didn't Rashford control that? <laughs> Why are we letting them press us, Daniel? Look at Rashford there. Take him off. Oh, Rasmus is coming off. Can only play 70 minutes. <sighs> Game over. <laughs> and Wambasaka's off because he can only play 70 minutes. Fucking hell! What's this 70 minutes bollocks? We've only we've got we're we not we're not playing for two weeks. What? Why take him off? Don't play for two weeks. Oh, fucking hell. Well, well, it's done. Lindelof up against Mo Salah, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck it. I can't speak. I can't speak, because if I speak, I'll start saying stuff I really don't want to say. I mean, that, they, they, I, have you ever seen a white, tie, white towel get thrown in against Liverpool like that? I mean, we've basically just put a white flag up. How the fuck are we going to get back into this game when you're taking off our best defender? There we go, Salah up against Lindelof. I just, I just don't get it. And, and he keeps the two shittest players on the pitch, on the pitch. I tell you what, if he took Rashford off, they'd cheer. Unless he scores. Ganacho. Eighty percent of the players are in embarrassment, just longing for the end of the game. Show some fucking will and conviction. Stop giving so much space to Liverpool, says Mr. Dude. The subs he's made are disgusting, says uh, Old Soul. Wambasaka, best player on the pitch, and now taken off. Well, it's because he can only play seventy minutes. Um, here are the replacements as Terence Maguire on for Watts as Daryl. Well, Maguire and Anthony. Flash talks. Anthony Jury says this team is awful. How unfit are they? Uh, Liverpool played Thursday and uh, they are still bouncing uh, around the pitch. Wonder why. How can we play like this first half and then this? It's a nightmare managing these players. Is Ali, McTominay, Ganacho, lays it off, Bruno. That's a, that's a slip, Ganacho. That's just not a foul. He slipped. <sighs> not subbing Bruno now is why Ten Hag hasn't got the fan support. Got to start making the big calls. And Juan says, I hope everybody watching now understands it's the players who aren't good enough. Rashford and Bruno can't keep getting auto-picked. It's embarrassing, says Aldo. Rashford's lack of effort is a joke. And why can't Bruno score anymore? Uh, those substitutes are sackable. Ten Hag needs to go, says Soham. Is Salah. Arvielia. Over the bar. Corner. 
Mark, are the players throwing the manager under the bus? I mean, I can't believe how bad the players have been, says Ashart. And George Rowley says an ant's fart could blow Ganacho over. Pasta says we're only starting to cross when Rasmus comes off. Uh, you know, I feel like we're the only ones who get how disappointing it is to lose to Liverpool. I, I just, I've, I've not seen it all game from hardly any of the players. They, they just don't seem to get it at all. Uh, Joe says, I'm Ten Hag in and I think these players are genuinely not good enough. But those two subs are absolutely outrageous, says Joe. And what do you think of Anthony? Give me your opinion, says Salman. Um, and the Anthony... Sub sums up our evening. I've got no faith in him delivering anything, says Nigel. Anthony instead of um, Ahmad sums up Ten Hag. Mr. Favourite strikes again, uh, says the mystery man. And if we don't sell these mediocre players, I'm done, says Old Soul. This is embarrassing, playing like it's a friendly no passion, says Maurice. I've defended Ten Hag every day until now. I have to call a spade a spade. Those subs are completely wrong. Uh, I, if we had players that could play 90 minutes the way we played the first 40 minutes, we'd be winning the game. Uh, I'm done with this lot says um, Thomas. Bruno has every trait you don't want in a captain, says Jake. I wish we could sell Ganacho and get Mason back, said uh, Zuteng. And remember Mark, Bruno and Rashford are staying, says Terrence Ter Ter Roberts. I mean, I, I don't, I just don't, I don't understand how Rashford's adamantly not for sale and then putting in performances like this. Ten Hag being fired won't be because of this loss. It's because of his constant poor subs. This is Tom. I'd give Mainu man of the match. Yeah, I think he's been... Is Ganacho? No. What's that? You put Mainu in that Liverpool midfield and he'd, he'd have been the best player on the pitch today. Maguire wins the header but can't direct it again. Anthony's cross is shit. Mainu. Give it to Bruno. Give it to Ganacho. Where's he going? Tom says, Ganacho slips and looks at the ref for a foul uh, straight after Salah gets a foul given and he didn't even look at the referee, says Tom. Uh, why are people moaning about the sub, says Nick P. This is it. It's 2v5. If they don't score from here, it'll be a bloody miracle. Well done, Delo. But they're still, I mean, I don't know how Liverpool haven't scored from here because they've got so many players. Good tackle by Maynou. If Man United get away with this... We've defended that really well, Lindelof, Delo, and Mainu, because we had a 5v2. I'm convinced that Ten Hag is not allowed to sub Rashford, says Faris. Not subbing Bruno and Rashford is criminal, says Dave. Yeah, Delo and Lindelof did really well there, because that was a 5v2. I'm beginning to think that Rashford has Prince Andrew levels of knowledge about someone in the club. Disgrace, he's not for sale, says Tom. Uh, Ericsson's on now. Probably took Mainu off. He fucking has! Oh my god! What the fuck is going on? For fuck's sake, like... This... Are we just throwing... These subs are odd! What? Mainu's off! I mean... These subs... 
are scandalous. I just, I mean, these subs are incredible. They're absolutely incredible. I mean, what what do we think is going to happen in the last, next 10 minutes apart from we get beat? Kobe Mainu's not playing again for two weeks. What if it went to extra time? I, I, I tell you what, I, I can't, I can't speak about that. I cannot speak about that. Uh, player ratings are coming in. Please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean... Ah... Uh... I don't know. Uh, links in the video description for player ratings. Mark every player out of 10. I mean, the thing that's got me about the subs is we're losing 2-1 and you bring Ericsson, Anthony and Maguire on for two of your best players. I understand Rasmus might not be able to play any more than 70 minutes, but uh, I don't know. Here's Liverpool. Another corner. Well, if you're in Ireland or you're enjoying St. Patrick's Day and you're a Man United fan, I feel for you. It's meant to be a really joyful day and um, this is just going to piss you off. Um... NA says at least Villa drew and Spurs lost this weekend. And uh, Mark, I'm Ten Hag in, but a blind person could make better subs as Paul. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, I'm not. I mean, look, I know there are people who are Ten Hag out. We're, we're losing 2-1 to Liverpool. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a massive shock. Liverpool are better than us, but... And the subs haven't been good enough. But... You know, I'm not going to start screaming Ten Hag out because we've lost 2-1 to Liverpool. But what what I do find baffling is that it's not an it's not an open and shut case. There's obviously reasons that people are wanting to change the manager. Um, I think the biggest biggest problem at Man United is that there's certain players who survive every manager and will survive this manager, and it's disgusting. I'm disgusted by certain players again that I mean I can I just say has Scott McTominay played second half or is it did he get subbed at half time? I haven't noticed him all half. I haven't noticed him at all. So it's not just Rashford. It's not just Bruno. Like McTominay I haven't even noticed him this half. And I, I just I'm 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 just stunned. The three players I got told two weeks ago that aren't for sale are McTominay, Bruno and Rashford, who've just shat the place out today. I mean that's three players that have to be part of whoever the manager's plan is. And that's coming from the top. That's coming from, you know, the, the Ineos, I presume. Rashford, Bruno, McTominay will not be sold in the summer. So that's the, that, that's the board. That, that's the new board. 
I, I don't understand it. You know, you're playing your biggest... I'll, I'll explain it to you like this. We're playing our biggest rival, and those three players have played absolute shit. So we're keeping them. Then they're, they're, they're part of the project. If they can't turn up against Liverpool, our biggest rival, why are they part of the project? I don't think you understand when you play your biggest rival, it's so easy to be up for it. And they can't even do it. Uh, today's sub is embarrassing, said uh, it's Dave. Uh, what was he supposed to do? wan and Hoyland are coming back from in injury, says Nicholas. Not be a fucking laptop manager. I'd have risked it. It's the FA Cup against Liverpool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have just gone, oh, we've hit the 70-minute mark. They can't play any longer than that. We're going into an international break. Nunez, Harvey Elliott. Another shot at Anana. It has been a schooling second half. Liverpool have uh, cruised through it. I mean, I, I, I haven't... See Bruno again, just looking for the Hollywood pass. The Hail Mary. Here's, here we go. Ganacho. Get to Ganacho. Here's Ganacho. Come on, do something. No, oh, it's just bloody greedy. Anthony, lay it off. Goal! 2-2! Two, two! Come on! Gatton! I've always told you Anthony's good! I've always told you! 2-2! Two, two! Anthony scores! How the fuck have we done that? I don't know. But United are 2-2. Two, two. Well, I, I, I don't know how we're going to do this because the team is completely imbalanced. But it's 2-2. Two, two. Anthony's well happy. Liverpool won't believe it. 2-2. Two, two. It's a bloody miracle. Get in. Um, <laughs> football A. Football A. Anthony, get, Anthony gets it to Ganacho. Stands him up. Drops to him on the turn on his right foot. On his right foot as well. He ain't got a right foot. Even, even I am sort of speechless about this because I just didn't see it coming. Um, the scary thing is we've got extra time. We've got Eric Ten We've got extra time here. Um, and the team is just completely me messed up. I mean, we've got... Lindelof, Delo, and Maguire are our only defenders because Varane's gone off. We've got Eriksen and McTominay and Bruno. And then we've got Anthony, Ahmad, Ganacho and Rashford. So, yeah, I'd still say Liverpool are going to win this in my uh, footballing experience. They've got a far more balanced team than us. We sort of went for it to get the equaliser, but Liverpool are straight on the attack. Where's Anana? He's all right. He's back in place now. Oh, is it the post? Oh, for fuck! What's the defence doing here? Get get rid of it. It's still in. Okay, <laughs> now. Uh, Twenty gifted subs on YouTube from Jurgen Klopp. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Nance says he used his right foot. Football bloody hell, says Daryl. He's got a fucking right foot, says Thomas. Fair play, Anthony, says Nigel. Uh, it is a nice goal for Anthony. You know, I, I, we did set, sort of take the piss out of him a little bit in the, uh, was it the Wigan game? But scoring a goal at Old Trafford against Liverpool is legit. You can kiss your badge then. Can you call my brother Abraham a Pratt, says Jungle. And Eric Ten Hag said, sit down, Mark. All jokes aside, come on, United, says Ivan. Dan, thank you very much for the gifted. Subs off a laptop as well, says Nicholas. Here is Anthony. Imagine if we win it at the end. Oh, nearly an own goal. Ganacho. I don't think we can do extra time. Well, we can do extra time. Could be a penalty shootout. This reminds me of Makeda, says Shea. Deep down, I'm glad Ineos is witnessing some player performances as plug scope. Please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner, and thanks for all the follows. I mean, at least we've made it a bit interesting.
just got it. We've got to switch on a little bit here. We've got to have a bit of a bit of a system. Always back to those subs. Don't know what people were moaning about. Always back to those subs. You don't know what you're talking about. 2-2. Two, two. Four minutes added time. We will get extra time, of course. I thought we would. I thought we were out. I really did. Even I thought we were out. You know me. I'm I'm quite positive around United and Ten Hag. But even I was like, what the fuck? Of course, we've got Ahmad on the pitch. Here we go. What's he got? Have a shot, Anthony. Don't have a shot now. Into Bruno. Into Delo. Little dinky cross. Rashford's nowhere. Ericsson. Ganacho. Throw in. <clears throat> Have a drink. I don't think I don't know whether Liverpool will want extra time. Really, I mean, I suppose everyone's going into an international break. Uh, Stuart says Eric Ten Hag with the masterclass subs, mate. No one more than me wants them to be masterclass subs. No one. Jeffrey says he did it with his right foot. Proof of miracles. Man United have got a corner here. Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire winner. Come on. Who wants... Here he is. Harry Maguire winner. I can feel it. I can feel it. Seb's going to run in if he does. 2-2. Two, two. Right on Harry Maguire's head. Cross comes in. Ericsson. Ah, it's crap. Ahmad's there, though. Back post. Into Anthony. Oh, we're going to end up going backwards here. What? What's that from Anthony there? Fucking hell, mate. Interesting ball from Anana. Bruno. Play him in. Play Ahmad in. Oh, Ganacho with the shot. Maguire. Van Dyke. Maguire. Van Dyke. <laughs> Lindelof. Ganacho. Throw in. We've got the momentum here. I just think if we're going to win it, we need to win it before the half an hour because Liverpool are a better... They've got a better balance to their team, I think. But we're going for it. Took Anthony a couple of years, but he finally found his passport. We'll see if he loses it again after the international break, says Jack. Despite Rashford being absent, it has a Rashford winner all over it, says David. I don't give a shit who scores the winner. Ganacho. Rashford, Ericsson, oh, they're going to clear it. Headed back in. Lindelof, headed it out. Delo, Maguire, play on. Have a shot, have a shot. Where are you going? Oh, Anthony, stop showing off. Here's Ahmad. Lindelof, go wide left, wide right. 30 seconds. He's going he's gonna to blast it in the box. Maguire. Oh, Flick's not good enough. Ganacho. Second ball, second ball. Ahmad's never winning that. He did. Lindelof. Come on. Still 15 seconds. Ericsson. Rashford. What a miss. What a fucking miss. He's done it on purpose. He's done it on purpose. He's done it on purpose. How do you miss that? How's he missed that? Well, I don't care what happens in this game now. We've just won this game. And if we don't win it, we just... There's a guy that's lost the game on the first goal and the winner. How? Absolutely how? How the fuck has he missed that? <sighs> I 
Everything I know about Man United has just been a lie. I, I'm not even on camera if he does what he needs to do. I'm that. All you can hear is me running down the street. That was the last kick of the last kick of the game to win it against Liverpool in the FA Cup, and he's missed it. Pasta says Hoyland scores that. I'll score that. I don't know how he's missed it. Like, Kelleher can't close all of the goal. I don't, I don't, I don't even want to look at it again. I don't want to tell you how easy it is to score in a goal that wide from that close. A goalkeeper is just a human being. It's not Inspector Gadget. It's not an octopus. It's a human being who's about this wide with a goal that's massive. It's a piece of piss. Get out, says Jack. Marcus the Carcass, says Ben. Maguire's going to win it. Philly, welcome to Members Club. Despite, uh, I mean, look, I tell you what, though, fair play. Fair play for, the, for United getting back into that game. The last five minutes was entertaining. Anthony's goal, um, the fair play. You know what? We've been deprived of a lot of positivity this season and fair play for getting back into it. They've made a game out of it somehow. Toyin says Ten Hag set, uh, subs have worked and everyone acts like they know better. Oh, I, I did as well. Look, you're right. Give the manager some bloody credit. It worked. Um, that's what you get paid the big money for. But I've got to say, I feel sorry for the players. I feel sorry for Ten Hag because if Marcus Rashford was switched on today... He scores that and he and we don't concede the first goal. I mean, he, he has absolutely cost us this game, hasn't he? But look, hopefully he can get the winner in extra time because he ain't going to take him off. I'm gutted, says Jack. You, uh, me, me, you and me both. Makes me want to change my name. That was shocking, says Marcus. Uh, Rashford could have been remembered forever there, says Utrid. Uh, Tim, I, 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 that was written in the stars for him as well, says Jace. He's been paid to miss, says Korean. I mean, baffling, absolutely baffling. There's not a United fan out there that's not going to be screaming and shouting. And he's the, he's the winner. I just got to put it behind you. I tell you what, though, it's going to be really interesting in extra time because I felt that if we wanted to win the game, we needed to do it in that last five minutes. Liverpool were sort of tired and hanging on. Klopp now has got half an hour to sort the shape of the team out, maybe make a couple of changes. We haven't. We, we, we can't do that. You know, we've got Ahmad, Rashford, Anthony, Ganacho. We've got four attackers on. We've got three defenders on. And we've got Eriksen, Bruno and McTominay as the midfield. It's completely imbalanced. Um, if Liverpool switch their head on and just go back to playing football in a system, they'll, they'll pick us off. Because um, that was just chaos football at the end. If they slow it down a bit now and just start pinging the ball about, we are not... Re we would... Basically, those subs were basically go for it. In a Premier League game, it's go for it, get a point. But this is now half an hour. Um, so, yeah. Now watch Rashford score the winner, says Bid. Well, uh, what do you mean now watch him score the winner? I, bloody, I should have watched him score the winner. Um, I still can't believe that miss. We can't lose this. I, want, I need to see it again, Joskin. Uh, give him credit, says Fan. Eric Ten Hag knows ball. I was praying for overtime, but not like that, says the ace ball. Even Timo Werner would score that. What the hell was he doing? I can't speak, says Jack. The fight today has at least been what you'd expect from a United side, says Bourbon. Um, Rashford signing for Liverpool in the summer. I mean, he was off. I think he's offside. I think he is actually offside. I think he was actually offside. Looking at it. But... Um, we're about to start the second half, first half of extra time. Could be penalties. I don't fucking want penalties. Don't give me penalties. I don't want penalties, actually. I mean, I'll take penalties over losing in extra time, but... Thanks, everyone who's tuning in, uh, and thanks for all the follows as well. Please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner... What an end to the weekend, eh? Every FA Cup... every every. To be fair, all the FA Cup games have delivered apart from boring Man City. I 
I just think we've got to keep doing what we were doing, really. Got to just keep playing quite open. Um, just uh, just to remind you, Liverpool's lineup. I don't think I've I've done this in a while actually. I don't I don't know whether I did it in the whole second half. Get the stats carousel going round. Um, we know what United's lineup is, of course, but Liverpool have made a few subs. Salah came off in the 77th minute. Sir Bosley came off uh, as well for Elliot. Uh, Robertson came off for Bradley. So they've made a few subs with their players coming back from injury. Kelleher, Gomez, Kwanzaa, Van Dijk, Bradley, McAllister, Endo, Elliot, uh, Gakpo, Nunez and Diaz. Let's hope United can get some momentum here. I'm starting to believe again. I'm just going to scrub that Rashford one from memory. Oh, Anthony, just over the bar. Get up and go again. Put McSauce at centre-back now, says Sean. He won't, but bring on Mount for Bruno, says Mank. 3 2 four, one, I'm guessing, will be the formation now, says uh, Red Smurf. Do you think Mount could bring something now, says Candy Kane? Depends how fit he is. McTominay had a huge influence on both goals. He's less on he's on less wages than Makeda. Not sure what you're seeing, says Ricky. Uh, Blaze said, I'd have run down the street naked if Rashford had scored that. Seb would have scored that, says Milford. Scottish says, he missed the chance to be a hero. Rashford out. I'm so proud of the team, says Mohamed. Any other subs that Ten Hag can or should make? Gomez scores that, says Logic. If I got paid 370k to do my job and I, I don't, I get fired. Why is Rashi still here? And Terence says, those subs have kicked me in the potatoes. Elliot says, the cat was sat in, my lap, sat in my lap and it flew. I still can't believe that miss. I think he was offside. I, I'm, I think he was offside. I've not seen anybody confirm it. But I think he was, he would have been offside, wouldn't he, Rashford? It looked like to me. I'm very good at seeing the offside and I think he was offside. Um, I know it wasn't given on the pitch, but I think VAR would have given it. Lee Berman's just gifted a membership. Legend, mate. Yeah, it was offside, yeah. Well done, Anana. Yeah, he was. He was offside. Can you pull... Um... <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I'm exhausted. I want to go to... I don't want to go to bed, but I'm tired. After this, it's uh, fan forum in the bath, I think. It's been an exhausting game. Well, Bruno's almost playing as a holding midfielder now. Kwanzaa coming forward again. He's had a good game. Mark, can we sub you, please, for someone more positive? I'll take anyone at this point, says Damo. Uh, what? What's not positive about backing the manager and the team? I mean, what, what more positive do you want? You want someone who backs the manager and backs the team and gives you a, ha a handy while they're doing it? Bloody hell, mate. Try my best. Header by McAllister just wide. Uh, midfielders are for wimps. We don't need one, says David. Yeah, match reaction straight after this. Um, I think the FA Cup draws after this as well. Ah, ah, ah. I'm just going to tell you something. I've just got this feeling there's an eruption in me. In a footballing sense. I just feel that there is something there. We'll have to wait and see. It could be an angry eruption. This is the first time. This time to win, says Chris. United. Delo's played very well again. I mean, Delo's probably gonna, probably going to be my man of the match because mainu has gone off.
yeah, if you're watching in the early hours of the morning and you've got work tomorrow, unlucky. But it's it's not one you're going to walk away from, is it? Uh, Badia wants a handy. So it'd be rice, uh, quite right, quite nice right now. Ericsson. I mean, Ericsson's done all right since he came on. Anthony. He shouldn't be shooting there. Giving a foul. No, it was the tackle wasn't a foul. He just pulled him on the floor. Ahmad's looked tidy. Uh, thanks for all the super chats, by the way, and all the follows. Uh, please do give us a follow and subscribe. Um, we're only we're only 70 subscribers away from 834,000. So please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. Um, a penalty shootout with Liverpool. There's a question. Have we ever had a penalty shootout against Liverpool? Just keep feeding Ericsson, says Robert. He's done well since he came on. Here's Ganacho. Liverpool do look a little bit tired at the moment. Oh, the cross was on there. Maguire! 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 Back the gaffer. Trust Ten Hag, says Mario. Mount on for a legendary last-minute winner, says D. It'd be worth bringing on for penalties, Mason Mount. Working four hours, but who cares, says Maurice. Thanks for the follow, Jason and Josh. I'll tell you what, if Maguire scored, I feel like turning around and just diving into that wall. Which would be stupid to do. Nah, corner's not good enough. Ericsson. Hi, Mark. Love the content. Keep it up, says Elliot. I just sense we're getting a little bit I want to be the winner syndrome here. Like, Anthony's done it. Ganacho's done it. We're getting into positions where the extra pass needs to happen. And you sense somebody just wants to be the winner. Maguire is in. Cross it! Oh, it was a Maguire cross, that was for sure. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky, Harry. Mark, can you please call Sig a Pratt, says Aidza. I think next goal wins this. I, I, I think it'll be hard for either team who goes behind to get to come back. Liverpool do look um Liverpool do look spent though. If it goes to penalties, Maguire takes one Rudy. I, I mean I can't remember a United penalty shootout at Old Trafford. Um I mean I remember the pink boots. I think we lost didn't we lose to Leeds? Didn't we didn't we play Leeds or Derby in one as well? How much more effective is Ganacho in Rashford's position, by the way? It's his little fat. Yeah, he did. Yeah, agree. Agree. Liverpool with the cross. That's going out for a corner. Oh, no. Straight back to Anana. Thomas says, fuck the structure. We're going for it. Come on, United. Maguire scores and Mark gives out five memberships, says Harissi. If Maguire scores the winner, I'll give out 50. Here's Anthony. The low. Weird cross. Nearly worked. Rashford. Ganacho. Into Lindelof. Oh. I nearly shit myself. I saw the net move and I thought he'd scored on his left-hand side. Is it the side netting? Massively. Oh, oh, I thought I, I thought I was in. I knew it wasn't very quickly, but for a moment, you know, I thought it was in. Uh, Simicast is coming on for Liverpool for Gomez. I think I think I think it's just now about who wants it most. I mean, the substitutions are. Um, 
just about tired legs, isn't it? That's what happens in a, in a game like this. Penalties. Don't want to really talk about it yet. We were talking about it the other night with Arsenal. And a lot of people thought that Costa would be the better penalty goalkeeper over Raya. Didn't work out like that. What's Anana like at penalties? He has saved one for United before. Uh, Daniel says that Ahmad looks class. Definitely needs a run of games. Bruno almost is playing that quarterback role now. Economics final tomorrow. Love from India, says Nikel. Here's Ganacho. Bruno into Rashford. Not going to get that. Foul. Good luck with your final tomorrow, Nikhil. Ellis says, I don't know how Rashford's in the England squad. Don't care as long as he scores the winner here. Xander's getting stressed. Well, we've only got two minutes to go of the first half. Extra time goes quick. Oh, we're in trouble here. Well done, Maguire. It wasn't Maguire, it was Lindelof. Anthony should have passed that. That's my opinion. Hey, Rashford. Is he onside? Is he onside this time? He's going to score this time! Oh, he's missed again! It wasn't. It was offside. It was offside. Thank God for that. It wasn't as easy, but he didn't hit the target. He's miles off. Miles off. Absolutely miles off. But he missed anyway. And I mean, to be fair, it wasn't it wasn't as easy a chance, but it's still pretty easy. Is he doing it on purpose? No, of course he's not. Uh, Nan's funeral in half an hour. She can wait if this goes to pen, says Skillet. Uh, she'll wait, don't worry. And uh, Delo for captain, says Evil, Evil. And thank God, no Allison says Hamish. Yeah, but I always worry about the goalkeeper in a penalty shootout because I think it's just an opportunity to be the hero, isn't it? And actually, it doesn't massively matter about the goalkeeper because it normally comes down to good penalties. If you if you put the penalties, if you take five good penalties, it doesn't matter how good the goalkeeper is. Um, there's a video of me on my That's Football channel. I took 10 penalties about, against Ben Foster and I scored 10. I, I scored five. Me. And Ben Foster's good at penalties. So it, it doesn't it, it doesn't matter. IK, IK says, can you shout, shout out Theo? Rashford is a one-man mission to sack Ten Hag, says Ricardo. Goal. I, don't, I, I can't believe it. Right on. Oh, fuck off. Harvey Elliott. Got a better perm than Gail Platt. You got. I. I. I need. To, I, I. don't know. I don't know what. I don't know how this goes in. I'm just sat there going. I don't know how that goes in. Deflection again. I mean. I think. I think Anana's got to save this. I think he's got to save this. I think he's too close to his line again. I think if he's a step, step further forward. No, his body weight's gone wrong, to be fair. He's put all his body weight to one side. He ain't saving that. No, he ain't saving that. Oh. See if we can do it again.
got to go for it again. Ahmad. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get Aggie and, and, and overexcited about that. Oh, Rashford with the cross shot. Jurgen Klopp's just gifted 20 memberships. You can tell Liverpool have scored. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what that is from Rashford there. I mean, who's going to be in the middle to get on the end of that? That's the end of extra time. Half. T uh, no, it's not. It's not the end, but it's the end of extra time at half time. Um, yeah, I just think. Um, yeah, I don't think Anana can do anything about it. He's not. He's, he can't move his feet quick enough. Um. <laughs> no coming back from this. Well, I think there is. I, th I still think we can do it. Um, but I think if we are going to come back, we're going into penalties, aren't we? Whereas I would like us to have scored the goal and be hanging on to win the game. So we've got to come back again. I think we can come back again. Uh, it's just a bloody deflection, isn't it? It's the bloody deflection. I mean, what 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 can you do? We've got to go for it now. Scott still on the pitch. Um, Kelvin, that is a genuine question. Yes, <laughs> I did. I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, that's that's horrible, isn't it? That that that's a horrible, horrible thing. He, I I didn't even know. Um. Yeah, he is still on the pitch. Uh, Mason Mount's coming on. I don't know who he's coming on for, but it's not for McTominay. No one was marking Elliot, says Daniel. Mate, I think we're past all that. I, 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 it's why I'm not going to get too angry about it. It's extra time. The team is completely disjointed because he had to go for it to make it 2-2. We've got three natural defenders on. We've got no midfield. We've got four attackers on. At the end of the day, I'm not going to get too agitated about how we're conceding goals because it's 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 extra time and it's basically just... it's not It's not real now. I mean... If somebody misses a big chance or, you know, gets sent off or does something stupid, but it's a deflected goal. Everyone's tired. We haven't got the right players on the pitch. You know, Rashford's just been unfortunate with the finishes. He's been there for the chances. I think he will slot one in, says Ryan. I hope so. Uh, Anana never match saving or match winning saves. Yes, it's hard, but we've accepted that he can pull off wonder saves, says Sharath. All five goals have been soft as shit, says Ima. And no one was marking the Elliot, says Daniel. Uh, let me just get the timer going there. It is 3-2 to Liverpool, but I think it's because it's gone to extra time. The the, the system's just not updating anymore. So apologies for that. Um, let me get this uh, timer right. Um, Mount came on for, I don't know who he came on for. Did he come on for Bruno? He wouldn't, he wouldn't have took him off for Bruno, surely. Lindelof. But, 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 you know, even that in itself is a bit problematic. I mean, you're taking off defenders to bring Ahmad on. You're taking off defenders to bring Mount on because he won't take off McTominay or Bruno or Rashford. And I don't, I don't, I don't see what McTominay's offering us anymore. Like, I didn't even know he was on the pitch. I'm United and my dad's Liverpool. Save me, Marks, is hopey. Look, I've doubted Ten Hag subs once. Hopefully, I'm doubting them again. Korean says the referee's been shocking. Well, 
well. Liverpool could, could end it here. Good play by Maguire. Of course, they can attack themselves. I think Anthony's playing at left back. Bruno's playing centre back. They've got to go for it, says Tasmanian Devil. Please do subscribe, by the way. Bottom right hand corner. Can United get back again? It'd be amazing if we did. To think people were comparing Rashford to Saka, says Operator. Oh, come on, we need to get... We can't, we can't attack if we haven't got the ball. Oh, Anthony, don't be losing it there. Uh, thanks everyone who's tuned in, by the way. It's it, yeah, it's in the football in God's hands now. I'd love, I'd love a penalty shootout now. I know I said I didn't want one. I bloody love it. Attacking the Stretford end again. Who knows? Surely there'll be another chance. No, come on. Anthony at left back, Bruno at centre back, and McTominay at strikers as Jack. The issue isn't in the subs coming on, it's the ones going out that are ridiculous as Red Smith. Yeah, I, I, I've told. I've, look, I don't know whether people are thick on YouTube. I can see a lot of people who aren't. I can't update the score because it won't up, update. I don't update it, it comes in from a feed. I can't change it, and I'm not going to change it, and I can't change it. So it will stay 2 2. But it's 3-2. If you don't realise it's 3-2, it's 3-2 to Liverpool. We're living on a prayer, says Xander. Fouse United. Well, it's going to be... I'll tell you what, player ratings in the match reaction are going to be very interesting because there's so many players on the pitch now and uh, so many players have gone off. Get it to Ahmad. Get it to Ahmad. Wide right, not wide left. That was never on. Maguire. Maguire! Straight at the keeper, bastard. I thought he was going to score. Anthony. Ericsson. That Rashford sit is looking worse and worse as Hull. He was offside though, mate. You know, to be fair, people can talk about that, but he would have been offside. So, bit of a get out of jail. There we go. Bruno's gone and tried to take people on. It's a 4v2. Rocking hell. Go on, Ahmad. Run for your life. Well done. Well done. Well done, lad. Brilliant play by Ahmad there. That's 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 what you want to see in a United shirt. Has Mount touched the ball yet, says Mark. I haven't seen Mount on the ball yet, no. <clears throat> Eight minutes. Good interception. Give it to Ahmad. Roll him in. Wrong pass. Right pass. Rashford. 3-3. Three, three. Get in. He played the right pass. And he scores to make it 3-3. We could be going to penalties.
thought is, we could be winning this. 3-3. Three, three. Manchester United. Hey, have you been watching it, mate? Yeah. You've been a bit more excited than that. If it goes to penalties, it'll be exciting, won't it? <sighs> you fake fan. 3-3. Three, three. He's overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. And I tell you what, I thought McTominay made the wrong pass here. He made the right pass. It was a lovely pass into Rashford. And then Rashford there. Bottom corner finish. No offside. Whew. I'm, ch I'm, 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 running out of, I'm running out of voice here. Give me some water. There's still time to win it. We're back in it. What a game. Get in again. 3-3. Three, three. Liverpool make another substitution. Let's go, says Philippe. Told you, Mark, says Ryan. Embid says, I told you. Not the winner, but still. Uh, Yazir says, and he's fasting as well. Sumi says, did anyone see Ahmad track back to pick Diaz? I think that that leads to that, if you know what I mean. That desire to track back when it was a 5v2 puts you in that situation. What a weird, weird, weird Sunday this is. 3-3. Three, three. Can't say McTominay's never had an assist now, says Sean. Uh, Maguire and McAllister are holding their faces. Don't know what happened here. Oh, it's McAllister on a yellow card. He should be gone. Oh, uh, he should be gone. He's staying down. He's staying down because he knows he should get a yellow card. That should be a second yellow. He's already got a yellow. How's that not a second yellow? <laughs> that is incredible. I don't know why that's not been given as a second yellow card. Too bad City are doing the treble again, says Paper. Mate, you're the first person to mention Man City in nearly 120 minutes. No one gives a shit about you. You've had to do a super chat to bring them into this. Go and watch your games. No one else wants to. This is a proper game. Just don't concede again. We go to penalties. I'm going to lose my voice here. I'm going to lose my voice. This is, this is one of the hardest ones I've ever done. That's what she said. Um, wrong pass, right pass. That's the cat's hiding now, says Sam. Incredible marks, says Happy Hour Network. Alexa, play Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Alexa, play Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Some people will have that now. Um, we've almost six players in the midfield, but we still throw long balls and can't dominate, says Waleed. Mate, don't talk about structure. Don't talk about style of play. That went out the window in the 70th minute. This is not a structured game for Liverpool or Man United. This is about who wants it most. That's all it's about now. It's not about style of play. As I said, if Liverpool make it 4-3 or we make it 4-3, obviously I'll go mad if we do it. But it's not about tactics anymore. It's just about who wants it most. Is Rashford. Oh, McTominay. So close. What a game, says Nathan. Eric, gifted five memberships. Thank you very much. Sidwood says, I think I did my player ratings too soon. You can go back into the player ratings and change them, by the way. Oh, it was close by McTominay. I, I thought it was a harder chance than it was. It was, it was a goal-scoring chance. Yeah, he can't play on from there. Three and a half minutes to, to penalties. Have we ever had a penalty shootout? I can't think of a penalty shootout against Liverpool. I can't, I can't, in my life, I can't think of a penalty shootout against Liverpool. <sighs> Unless I'm missing a really obvious one, I can't. 
All the Bruno hate, but he doesn't stop, says the wheelbarrow. I don't think anybody's ever criticised Bruno for his for his running. Maybe Mount's on for penalties. We don't have good penalty takers. Bruno, Mount, Rashford. I'd say Anthony can take one. I'd say Ganach. I think we've I think we've got more attackers than they've got on the pitch for penalties. We've got to get there, yeah. What's that from Bruno? Calm down. Well done, Ahmad. Defensively again. However this ends, the work rate of Ganacho, Bruno and even Scooby-Doo needs to be noted. Very commendable. Says seven. Come on, one more attack. Referee, that looked like a bad tackle to me. Yeah. No, that looked bad. Give us the foul. <sighs> Penalty shootout against Liverpool, eh? Just when you think just think just when you think you've seen everything. We've got to get there. Maguire can take a penalty, Jack. Yeah. I don't think I'd use Maguire, though, because if, if it goes to penalties, Rashford, Bruno, Mount, you've still got Ahmad, Anthony, Ganacho. I, I know Maguire will want one, but I, I wouldn't... You know, McTominay can probably hit one as well. I mean, how are we 3-3 three, three with Liverpool when we've got one recognised... Well, Delo, two recognised defenders on, no real midfield... Amazing. Ericsson can take one as well. Oh, lovely play by McAllister. Come on, don't switch off here at the end. Well done. The low. This is it. This is it. They're going to get the last attack. They're going to get the last attack here. Bruno and Maguire used a, a, as a centre-back partnership. We've used... Another centre-back partnership we've used this season, says Glenn. Jurgen Klopp wants his memberships back, says Mohit. People applauding work rate. You mean the bare minimum, says Stuart. Ahmad has been brilliant since he came on, says Darry. Well, you've all had that. A lot of you have been talking about that for a while. <sighs> Tell you what, I'm going to enjoy my bath tonight. I've not done any running. Right, don't concede from here. This would be a right kick in the nuts. McQu McQu go on, go on. Go on. Oh, wait, wait, now, pass it, oh, no, yes, get in, Ahmad, 4-3, it's over, it's over, 4-3, Ahmad, and that's for the chat, that's for all of you, that's for every single one of you who've been moaning like a bunch of bitches for three months, Saying, where's Ahmad's minutes? Where's Ahmad's minutes? And I said, patience. I said, patience, I tell you. And that's patience. 4-3. Get in. 4-3. Ahmad on the break. Over. No penalties. No penalties. And he makes the tackle himself from the perm. And Ganacho, I thought Ganacho timed this wrong. He actually gets it right. Oh, I can't speak. I'm going to have a bloody heart attack. Absolutely incredible. 3-2, 4-2, 4-3. Manchester United. Ahmad with the winner. Ten Hag in. Ten Hag in. Get in. Get in. Yeah, doubt is. Someone wants to come in the door. What a game. What a game, eh? I've played the game. What a game. You've been watching it in there? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Ahmad with the... Well, hopefully it's the winner. Is it the winner? He's took his shirt off. He's walking down. I don't know. What's he doing? Second yellow card. He sent him off. He sent him off for scoring a goal. What? What a joke. What's going on?
Absolute disgrace. What a joke. Hey up. They want a chance to Liverpool to score. I, 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 I don't believe that. That is a disgrace. This referee belongs in prison. What a joke. Fancy send him up. I didn't even know he'd been booked. What did he get booked for? When did he get booked? The first one. Running, run to the corner, Anthony. Run to the corner, Ganacho. Go for the corners. Go on. Just go for the corner. Well done. Keeps it. What's it? How's he adding on this much time? He can't add on that much. Referee's an idiot. How long? He can't add three minutes on. He can't add three minutes on. He wants Liverpool to win. He does. He's a Liverpool fan. Come on. Uh, Ten Hag's getting angry. Klopp's not happy. He's the Liverpool manager. Still won't blow it. Look, he's, not, he's got no intention of blowing the whistle. How long does he want to do? Oh, it's four minutes. Where's he getting the time from? What is he doing? Hey, get in. Get in. Go on then. Off you pop. Well done, mate. Bit of history for you. They won't teach you that at school. The United 4, Liverpool 3. I said we were going to win. I said we were going to win. What a game. What an absolute classic we've witnessed there. Absolutely fantastic. Manchester United. What a game. Absolutely brilliant. And I tell you what, we said it in the preview. We said it in the preview. And we said it before the game. No excuses for those players not to put a shift in. I don't know what they did. For half an hour after extra time, I've got no idea what they were doing after... Uh, 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 sorry, no, I've got no idea what they were doing after the first half. Unbelievable. But, you know... That's ma that's just magic. Just magic. Absolutely magical from Manchester United. And nobody... You know, I'm, I'm glad I got to spend that sh share that with Seb, actually. Because nobody is going to... You, you know, you won't forget that. You, you won't forget that. It's basically what I'm trying to say. You won't you won't forget that. Absolutely mad. You know, I'll be sat there tomorrow thinking about that. Just going, wow. Absolutely incredible game of football. That's why we love it. You know, sometimes the odds are against you. Look at the smile on Ten Hag's face as well. Beaming with joy. I feel so happy for him because he's got a, a pile on. An absolute pile on. You know... Samuel Luckhurst and everybody else, they'll all be absolutely gutted. All their two weeks of the international break. Wow, oh, this is why it should be Potter or De Zerbi. Their drafts are going in the recycle bin. They'll be absolutely gutted. And I'll tell you what we'll be doing for two weeks. We'll be talking about transfers. We'll be talking about how we move this club further forward. Because they will absolutely be gutted. There'll be certain fans who are gutted as well, who, who, you know, who pride themselves and grow on social media from negativity around the club. They don't get it. You get it. I get it. This is what it's all about. Your club beating your biggest rival in those circumstances. When, when you're dead or when you're dying, these are the moments that you'll remember. All these negative agenda people, you know, growing off their own bloody negativity. That's what it's all about. Manchester United winning games like that. Um, make sure you do the player ratings. Links in the video description. Mark every player out of 10. Six is the average. We'll continue this conversation on the match reaction in a couple of minutes. I'll see you there. What a game.